Hello and happy 2020 to all of you. Welcome to AFK here on the Loading Ready Run Network. It is the first board game stream of the year and there's so much pressure to start the year off correctly the decade the decade off ten correctly. times the pressure yeah every anytime they look back on a stream that happened in 2020 they're gonna see where it's all started and i know there's a whole thing about like well the decade doesn't start until 2021 i but disagree we're, with we're, all those people we're into the 2020s yeah because it's 2020 2021 2022 and i'm like i know what the literal thing is i don't care really yeah. i don't care which that's, way it goes that's the correct response yeah. 2020 is the year of i don't care about your you know pedantic yeah. state. it doesn't really matter right yeah. yeah uh welcome everybody uh i'm ben and joining me this week is matt Woo. and serge Woo. and beach <laughs> and today we are playing mystic veil vale, uh which is a very very cool game kind of similar in the vein if you've played like ascension or Dominion. Deck building games. Yeah, deck building games. Uh, with the main sort of, um, uh, I guess, twitch in it being that you get to actually assemble the cards yourself. It has a card crafting system to it. That's fascinating because a huge mechanic of deck building games is typically adding new cards and removing bad cards. So it's, your deck always having 20 cards is such a fascinating difference to this because I love deck building games. I love deck building games. So I'm, I'm, I need to know more. Yeah, it's going to be great. Does part of that mean that because we're building, there's no discarding? Are oh, you we building over top? No, no, because all the cards are going into the already pre-existing uh, cards that you have. Yeah, okay, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, So your deck is upgrading. always going to be 20. Yeah. You've just got to make, like, I just make the if, deck better. If there was a bottom, I would prefer. Oh, like, can you, I, can like I you're, of... you're, you're more of a bottom? Yeah, if I'm like, if I want to get rid of a bottom and replace with a different bottom, can I do that? That's what I'm wondering. Oh. Uh, who knows? We'll see. Yeah, I don't know. But before we get in... Oh, this is your first time watching them. Well, that was a great sentence for you to come on in. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> before we get into everything, a reminder that this stream is brought to you by the amazing folks over at wormwoodgaming.com. Uh, if you want to get one of their products and you live in the U.S., you can use code LRR for free shipping. And everywhere else, you can use code LRR World for $10 off shipping. Paul? That's... Wormwood Game... Yeah. Wait. Yes. Yeah. Wormwood Gaming. It's the bones of trees and the skins of beasts. Offer not available in the Forgotten Realms. No! <laughs> in, in the Mystic Veil. You, can you do... Is that... You could do any face now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> all right. I Make like that. Make me slap the table. Serge has got to slap the table. Does it need a lot of... <laughs> you look anxious about it there. You're just like, I'm doing it because this is what people do. <laughs> yeah. Slaps wow. table. Wow. The, the next iteration will be yeah. everyone who's at the table, all four of our faces will jump up, but only one hand will come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> One very big head. And slap all four of us. <laughs> oh, wow. Just squee screen wipe. Can you, very okay, squeak. real real talk. Yeah. Can you have, like, the four people on all come up at the same time and do it? Uh, theoretically, yes. <laughs> so that's what I mean, right? Yeah. Theoretically. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Version right. 3.1. Let's not make I, promises. I mean, I, I imagine they all kind of come up in the same spot, yeah. right? Yeah, at the moment, they're set to all always come in the same spot. <laughs> right. So they would just be all over, exactly over top, over top of, of each other, <laughs> which would some type be of the best. Some type of amazing chimera. What if you, Ooh. if you like, yeah, you just got to stagger them, right? <laughs> <laughs> These uh, things like are all rainbow. possible. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I probably won't do them right now. <laughs> yeah. No. The power of 2020. I'm putting. <laughs> this is what we in the improv business called pimping someone. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, <laughs> and uh, also a reminder that everything that we do is brought to you by you over at our Patreon at patreon.com/slash loading ready run. You're the reason we're able to do all kinds of cool things. Like, for example, have we announced that this is happening? That we're going to. Places? Yes, we go to places. Yes. Yeah. I haven't made our ad slides yet, but we can, okay. we can talk about it. Can we? Cool. Yeah. Uh, we're going to South. Uh, I Texas. Mean, yeah, uh, it was it was likely we've been doing just about every PAX yeah. anyway, but uh, we have the people com confirmed. It's going to be myself and Serge and Beach and Heather. Uh, so if you're attending PAX South and you want to come say hi and stuff and partake in different sort of merchandising opportunities, we're there. Or you don't have to buy anything. You can just come say hi. We'll yeah. sign a thing. Whatever you need. We'll, we'll be there. Yeah, I'm really excited. San Antonio is super cool. It's such a cool town. I had a lot of fun there last year. Is there a thing called a river walk? Yeah, yeah, we'll go on a coffee adventure and get lost. Who knows? And if you're not, uh, if you haven't made plans to go to PAX South and that has tipped you over, 
I think there's still tickets. I'm not sure. I, I, I would assume so. I don't actually know, but I know that PAX South is like the chiller of the PAXs. So. I, will, I will also state that we have decided on who's going to PAX East, and we will be at PAX East. Yes. Yes. But we're not going to announce that. Because I don't want to get everyone all excited about who they're going to meet at PAX East yet. We yes. We'll get them excited about going to PAX South first. Yes. PAX, PAX South first. PAX East and then later. Six but we weeks will, later, PAX East! We will be at PAX East though, so. Jesus south, Christ! South, 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 um, south, south. Everybody. Just the four of us. Um, did, and we also we announced as well, I guess, that uh, the Theros PPR is coming on up. Uh, very, very soon. Very next soon, Friday. in fact, next Friday. Do we have the slide on this one, Paul? Oh, I'm so busy uh, in 2020. Not it's totally fine. You don't have to load it in. Here, it's all here. good. Okay. We'll, 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 we'll do our best to simulate it. Uh, but as you can see, uh, Lurbot Lur just posted it into the, uh, the, 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 the chat as well. Uh, it's the Theros Beyond Death pre pre release. Uh, it starts at 11 on Friday, January 10th. And we've got amazing folks coming in. We've got uh, Nadine Nissa Cosplay. Yeah. Uh, we've we've got uh, oh my gosh, uh, Eli. Or sorry, it's 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 Alias V. I'm, I'm so terrible at pronouncing. I believe her it's name. pronounced uh, Eli Alia. Alia. Okay, that's great. Good. I've always just referred to her as Alias, and she's because I think terrific. that's where the Alias comes from. Yeah. Is is the first. That makes I sense. I think. I yeah. apologize if that's not entirely correct. Uh, we've got Krim, the Asian Avenger, yeah. coming on in, and finally. Uh, making her, I think she's come down for one before, yes. right? Yes, yeah. Melissa DeToro is coming back, uh, and uh, she's gonna, you know, kick, be here kick, playing, kick everyone's butts. She's so cool. <laughs> she's so cool, and she's very good at magic. Oh. And then you've got the regular PPR crew of Graham, Kathleen, Adam, and Cameron. And they're all right. Yeah. So it's gonna be great. Be sure to tune on in for that. But we're not talking about those card games. We're talking about this card game. Mm -hmm. So this is Mystic Veil, vale, and. The, the concept of the game is, is we are all druids, the, the best RPG class. There is no better class that you could play than a druid, because druids can do everything, so why would you play any other classes Elf, than yeah, a druid? wild shape. Just saying, yeah. Why, why specialize when you can do everything? Exactly. Yeah. Hybrid classes, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, and the core concept is, is we are trying to, I guess, nurture the land and, and, and save it from the decay. Oh, um, each sounds yeah. like a very cooperative thing. It yeah. is not. <laughs> it is not a cooperative game. I mean, like, we're not- Screw you, I can nurture the land way better than That's you. That's effectively all. All of us are druids that ha that really need to grow our e peen and, yeah. uh, we need to be What's better that? at saving the lands than other people. What's the E in e peen Eco. Yeah. Eco peen? Yes. Yeah, it's our eco peen. <laughs> and so, what's interesting about this game is because there's four of us, there are only a grand total of 33 victory points during the game to accrue. That yeah. seems like a pretty fast game. Uh, maybe. I don't know. The game says it's 60 to 90 minutes. Holy crap. All yeah, right. so yeah. we'll figure it out. Um, but effectively, we're going to be doing various things with our decks to, uh, to grow our, our EPs. EPs. <laughs> uh, and the moment that somebody accrue that, uh, that in total, uh, 33 points are accrued spread throughout our different scores. The game stops and we tally up our scores. Now, that doesn't mean that's the, the, the scope of the victory points. That's just when the game ends. We'll be getting yeah. more victory points when we do a scoring round. So afterwards. it's similar to like Dominion where the game ends at one point, but then you actually calculate afterwards. Yes, Ooh, okay. exactly. <laughs> so the game is basically played uh, in four sort of phases on your turn. Each one of us does those four phases and then it scoots on to the next person. So there's the planting phase, the har the planting phase, which is, for all you magic heads, it's very similar to the upkeep. There's only one real thing that sort of happens during there. It's just a very, uh, it's just a, sort of a check phase that it's like, hey, it's your turn, there's this one thing you can do, etc. Uh, then there's the harvest phase, which is where most of the things happen. That's where you're gonna do most of your actions. There's the discard phase, which is where things that you did during the harvest, you kind of reset for the next player, as well as uh, uh, build the cards that you have uh, bought things with during the harvest phase. And then finally, the prep phase, which is where you make your field and your effectively resources for the next turn that it comes around. And that's sort of the main hitch that a lot of people have is you actually set up and draw your hand at the end of your turn, and it's a very public piece of information. Mm -hmm. That threw me off. That really threw yeah. me off. Yeah. So uh, I'm trying something new this year where I'm not actually going to go through every single rule before. We're just going to actually kind of, I'm going to do a general overview, yep. and then we're just going to play. So the one other thing that I want to talk about is right here. It's, this is the marketplace, and this is where everything is bought. You see that we have Veil cards, mm -hmm. and you'll also see that we have card advancements. And the card advancements can be shown in the different sort of, I guess, like tiers. So this is tier one, we've got tier two, 
in tier three. And the main thing that really divides them is how much they cost. Um, it's hard for you to see a lot of the information, but what you can see is that these are s these <coughs> very uh, see-through cards, and they're going to be sliding into these cards that are in our deck. And you can see that there's three sort of spots that are available on each uh, card. Um, we're going to be buying these things based on the different resources we have. So if you guys can set up your thing, I'm going to show how the prep phase is done, which is a little, little bit confusing because it's the last phase, but it is in a normal game, everybody would already have their, uh, their things laid out. So I'm going to show you how that works. So during the prep phase, which I mentioned is the last phase of your turn, Paul, if we can go to the top down here. Begin with the last phase. Beginning with the last phase, yeah, but then I'll go do the first phase. <gasps> you are going to draw cards from the top of your deck here until you get three decay. And decay is denoted by a little red symbol on the card. Oh, so, oh, sorry, like did, that. did Matt do it wrong or did I do it wrong? You did it wrong. I thought it was three in, and then the top one is when no, you stop. No, the top one is when you the top when is you when you stop you is see when it. you see three. That's when. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show that. Yeah. Or you're hopping ahead of me here. Yeah, yeah. So as you can see, all right, first card it's got diddly squat on it. So we're gonna keep on going. All right, here's a, a card that actually has things on it. So it's a little bit difficult to see, but I drew a cursed <laughs> land, and you can see that there's a little mana symbol, this blue symbol, and this red symbol, which is a decay. That means I'm currently at one decay. And how it's gonna work is we're gonna keep drawing. Uh, cards until we reach three decay. So we're gonna keep on going. Okay, there we go. I actually have my deck upside down, I think, or something. Yeah, your deck is upside down. Oops. Do you flip the card before you put it there? Do yes, the yeah. So now you can see I've got two mana and two decay. There's nothing on this one, so this Ooh. becomes part of my field. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Oh! We've got a fertile one, which has one uh, mana, but no decay on it. And finally, oh, no, we're gonna keep going. Keep going. How Keep low. going. There we go. How low? Okay. There we go. All right. <laughs> so what happens now is I've reached three decay. Now you'll see that I have cards here, and then I have cards what's called on deck. What this means is the card is a sitting on the deck, but b yeah, this card is contributing to the decay of my field, but I don't actually get this mana symbol mm. on here. So this is where we stop, and this is how the prep phase would end for me. Uh, you can see that I have access to three mana. All right, so that's the end phase of your turn. Okay, now this is how a game would start when right. uh, when we when we begin we we begin the game. We all so, have our fields. Yes, all of us are also going to have these little symbols here. We should have them all on the gray side. We'll talk about those later. So the first step is the planting phase. I'll I'll go first just to show sort of show what's going on. So during the planting phase, you basically have one choice. You either can you choose to push, which means to uh, put this card in your field and flip the next one and add it to your thing. Now, if it is, uh, if there's a decay symbol, you spoil and bad things happen. But we'll talk about those later because I'm not going to do the push phase okay. right now. I'm just going to take, I'm just going to say, I'm happy with what's going on. So now we move to the harvest phase. And the harvest phase is when we get to <clears throat> buy things. Mm. I've got access to three mana. Now, I can't buy any of these veil kind of things because as you'll see, what their cost are these symbols here. And I actually don't have any symbols that sort of work with those on my current cards. I've just got mana. So I'm going to stick over here in the advancements area. Uh -huh. Now down here at the bottom, you can kind of see uh, that uh, there's a couple different things. It's a little hard for you to see at home. But you'll see that, for example, this field of flowers contributes two mana and it costs three. Now the, the cost of here is, is where they are. And you only have to remember the cost when you're buying the card. Mm, right. So yeah. I could buy this field of flowers, and when I put it on a card, that means when I flip it over, it gives me two mana during that turn. There's this Deadwood Harvester uh, that, while it doesn't seem to do anything on, its, on, on the card here, you'll see that there's this thing written here that says, when played, you may discard any other card in your field. Nice. Uh, there's also this Seedling, which is worth two, gives a mana, and has an ongoing effect is cancel all but one decay on this card. So you could fill this card up with decay symbols, ah, but it's only worth one decay. Yeah. On the card. On the card. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So that's sort of the, the different things you can buy. There are some more expensive things up here. Uh, for example, there was one thing I didn't want to, two things I want to talk about. First is this guy here. This is a feral chieftain. You'll see it's worth five, mm -hmm. uh, but gives a symbol 
here. And I don't actually know what symbol this is. I want to say it's light or something. Yeah, sunburst or sunburst something. Sunburst yeah. or, I don't know, you know, magic-y terms. Yeah. And you'll see that it actually corresponds to some of these sunburst symbols on these cards. That's how you purchase yep. the Veil cards. You'll also notice that there's this grayed out little diamond symbol down here that says one. When you're count at the end of the game, when we're counting cards, that's how many victory points that's going to contribute to your uh, end score. Yeah. So you can also okay. stack uh, extra points. There's also this helmet here, which is a guardian symbol. And you'll just notice that it says, during the harvest phase, you gain one victory point for each guardian on this card. So you can stack up cards with this guardian symbol. And if I remember this from how the rule works, is that you get that immediately. Those yeah. are victory points you earn as you're playing, as yes. opposed to at the end of the game. Yes, okay. yeah, absolutely. So that's how you're going to accrue victory points uh, during the thing. There are cards that also just straight up have victory points. You can see up at the top, they're just blue ones. That means you get them during the game. Okay. But that's how it goes. So it's my harvest phase. Mm -hmm. I'm going to choose to buy something. I think I want to buy this field of flowers. Heck yeah. I like ramping. Ramping's cool. <laughs> so this goes over here, and we don't replace that yet. Now, I have no more mana, so that's the end of my harvest phase. So now we go to the discard phase, and that's where you actually build the cards. So I could, you know, super, super size one of these cards, but I think I want to get rid of just blank dead cards or mm. add more things on. So I'm just going to take this, slide it on into here, and boom, now this card has a field of flowers so on it. So a question. Yeah. Say you had a decay you didn't like. Could you cover up a decay with what you buy? You cannot. Okay, so it can Once only go in an empty slot? It can only okay. go in an empty slot. There but you, you could go. use that other card there that uh, that um, negates extra decay on the... Or yeah. the discard. Sure, yeah. different purchasing decisions. So, so now I take all... Play. Yeah, I take all of this, pop it in my little discard pile. I also replace any of the things that we're missing here. Mm -hmm. So now there's a Enchant, Earth Chant Chorus. It's worth two. Uh, and when you harvest, other advancements added to this card cost two less. So if you oh. plan on adding something to that card, they're worth two less. That's oh. cool. That's cool. So, so wait, does that mean in this specific case, when you buy it, you have to say, oh, it's going to go on this card, mm -hmm. and that's when you apply the discount, which is kind of weird, because it seems like you could make the decision which card you're buying on after the fact. But I guess for this one, you're well, like, hey. Yeah. I mean, when you when if I was to buy that, um, it'd be like, well, these are the cards I have available. These two I can't put it over top because it covers up that. So yeah. on any of these four cards, it's like, this is what my field looks like. This is where this has to go if mm -hmm. I'm buying that. Um, and Chad also made a great suggestion. I also forgot to mention them because they're just all the way over here. Mm -hmm. But much like any of the other kind of deck building games, there are these generic cards that you can buy. They're all called Fertile Soil. They're all worth two. And there's three of each like spot, or four, I guess, of, of each spot, I want. I, I think. Uh, there's just a bunch of these. And, and no matter what like what you want to buy, if you're like, I'm going to buy a vertil, ver, ver, uh, fertile soil, you can actually go through and be like, I want this bottom fertile soil, and it only costs sure. you two. Yeah. So, cool. Which, if I understand how this works also, it's like, if you flip two cursed land and then you flip one here, even if I had nothing but blanks, I still would end up with two. So it's like you still have something you can do this turn. Yes. Yeah. Which yeah. is buy one of those. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, so that was the, the discard phase. You sleeve all your advancements you bought into cards, then you replenish the veil cards and advancements in the commons. Now, in a typical game at home, after you move, <laughs> once you're now moving into the prep phase, squeak. So sorry. Uh, you, the next player can go. But for the sake of performance, we're going to do every single step here. So now we move into the prep phase that I did last time. So we take this cursed land. It now goes into our, our field. Mm -hmm. yeah. We flip the next one. Hey, nice. all right. Oh, it's wow. a fertile soil. So I'm already at two and only one decay. Nothing. It's a cursed land. All right. So I'm at three and two decay. And boof. all right. Okay. There you go. So that's where my prep phase stops. And it goes now. Yeah, and that's what threw me off for this game compared to other games, because in Dominion or Ascension, this is how you'd start your turn, by revealing the resources you have and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this game, it's public information, yeah. so you have the opportunity for everyone to see what you could buy. We don't have I... a hand that we're playing from. Mm -hmm. We right. have right. a deck that we're playing All right. from. So I have access to two money right now, two mm -hmm. mana dollar dues. dues uh, mm -hmm. I can push if I wanted a third one, which is dangerous. Um, well, if you did push <clears throat> and you didn't make it, you would spoil... Let's, yeah, do you but want to talk that about that? Play. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk about in this position. I'm going to push. Okay. So, so my, wow. my, my rationale right now, it's early. I'm not worried about falling behind. I feel that three is a lot more a lot more advantageous to two right now. Yeah. I don't really care about any of these cards. 
So um, I'm going to put this into my field. I get to reveal one card. Yeah. So now I have three, unless this is a spoil card. Yeah. If this is spoiled, I lose my well, turn. Well, it's a decay, decay card. Decay, decay card. If it's a decay card, then I spoil. Pardon mm -hmm. me. Heart of the cards. Make sure it's on camera. No red. No red. No Rammy. Oh. Oh, right. It is. So All right. we go straight to Whammy. Let's so, talk about this. Yeah. So, uh, Surge, you've spoiled. Yes. I'm All of this druid. goes away. Okay. And you have to skip your harvest phase. Yep. You skip right on through. <laughs> and go to your discard phase. Yep. However, you now get to flip these little things that we had at the start. And what this means is during your next uh, turn, you have one mana, no matter what. Well, I'm gonna ramp straight up into five next turn. Yeah, Watch exactly. out, everyone. Yeah. So now it's your prep phase. Let's restart. Let's make yourself a new field here. Okay, so field the first. There's a decay. Yeah. Ooh, okay. fertile soil. We already got three. Whoa, fertile you got soil. four. Blank. Okay, First lands. Oh, not bad. See, now I thought the chances of me hitting Decay weren't great because I hadn't revealed as many cards, but it was very unlucky. Okay. What is happening? He's I'm unstoppable. <laughs> oh my god, he's going. <laughs> All, right. All, right. All right, there you go. So you got access to... Five oh, next turn. Five total. One, two, five three, four, total. five next turn. So this uh, Druid Song or Plow... Uh, Assuming they're still there next yeah. year. Yeah. I, I don't see anyone else having five. Now, the beautiful thing with public information, I see Beach has three, unless yep. he pushes and gets extremely lucky. <laughs> I see that uh, Matt only has three, and Ben does two. So maybe some people could push and get very lucky, but I think my chances of having being the only person at five next turn is looking pretty good. Yeah. All yeah. right, Beach. Pass. Just as, yeah. a, as a quick clarification, um, can you... You said that uh, the... The little token there gives you an extra uh, uh, an extra energy to spend next turn. Could you also just keep that for as long as you want? Yes. Okay, so yes. it doesn't go away. Sorry, yes, yeah. Or, that's a good point. Beach? We, we can check that while Beach just is This here. one here? Yes. You get to keep it until you spend it, I thought. Yes. Yeah. The moment you decide to expend it, you have to flip it. Yeah. With the mana in your okay. field, do not count on that card. You may buy up to two. Oh, that's a different one. Yeah. Wrong mana card. All right. I pass to the beach. All right. I've been sitting here the whole time looking at what it is I want to do. Mm -hmm. um, you want to do everything. Because you have access to three mana. The tough thing is that I can't affect this card. No. I can only affect what's in my field. Yes. Which means buying this, I would have to, I would basically be setting up this mm -hmm. for additional decay. I mean, the upside like, is, is that is a strictly better fertile soil. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it really is. Also, keep in mind, it doesn't completely negate all but one. So even if you yeah. put it on a card that had one... Yeah, it's better to use it on something where where if I had it like this, and I was going to have another thing that had decay on it, like one of these other yeah. more advanced cards, and it would make more sense. Yeah. yeah, you can see some of the advanced ones have powerful effects that are somewhat mitigated by also having decay on them. So yeah. if you can get rid of that, then you're in business. And on Harvest, other advancements add to this card cost two less. That's like an interesting ramp card. This is short-term gain. It doesn't give anything, but yeah. it technically leapfrogs you ahead. Yeah. So you could buy two cards with that, though. If you had that, you could buy two fours, four, four. Yeah, it means that I <clears throat> seem like I get a little further along. Um, this is just good to be able to be like if you want uh, to push because it's when played you may discard any other card in your field. Get rid of a decay, uh, right? And I don't really, but I mean, having I have three mana out and I'm like I feel like I need to be spending it all. Damn it! I do appreciate uh, that you know in 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 Magic or in, in other games you're like oh well this is basically just a blank draw. Okay, I'm gonna. You take literally this. have blank draws in this game yeah i'm buying the earth chant chorus for two because i have three on board mm -hmm. and it means on harvest other advancements add to whatever card i put this on cost two less yeah. so i'll just put that there for now so now i have spent all the mana i can possibly spend and now i have to go to discard which is to sleeve this onto something else and it makes sense for me i think put it on a blank card put it on a completely blank card yeah it's, it's going to set it up for the so, future so Absolutely. you won't be able to take advantage of that until you go through your deck and reshuffle yeah it. exactly yeah. But that all goes to discard, and now we prep. Yeah. So, one. Uh, 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 we oh, we have, you're right, we have to flip that. Cleansing Rain, so it's worth three. When played, uh, search your deck for any card. You may put it into your discard pile. Oh. And shuffle your deck. Oh, wow. So you can get rid of some bad Depending cards. You have something that's or, yeah, yeah. yeah. That sets up uh, push really interesting. Yeah. All right. So, uh, next is, oh, uh -oh. another one. Okay. okay. Are we going to just go for three here? No. 
Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. Do you mind pushing yours just a little bit up the... Like this? Yeah, just cause ah, look at the shit. camera. Yeah. So you can have all your information on the camera. Shit. Like that? Again, it's well, you can frame yourself, Beach. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that looks Don't great. Don't lose anything. There we go. All right. Set up for two. Yep. Oh, okay. That's a tough one. Yep. But play passes. Mm -hmm. All right. I have three mana up. Mm -hmm. You gonna push? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, I'm going to I buy. I was playing with cowards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna buy the Deadwood Harvester for three. Yep. And I'm gonna. So it's an interesting strategy. Do you load up one card that's really good, or do you try and spread it out? Right. Mm. I think I don't know. In the early phases, I want to say spread it out. Probably. I mean, it, it's statistics at that point, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the interesting. But the blank cards don't stop you. Right, so it doesn't actually matter. Oh, right, you skip them. It's not like you draw yeah. you know, something that does nothing. You just cycle through them anyway, yeah. as long as it doesn't have... that. I guess that's the real consequence of more decay, is you see less cards in your deck. Yeah. It's actively... It's the opposite of card advantage. It's card disadvantage, but mm -hmm. you get a power out of it. That's yeah. a really interesting balancing mechanic. Right? Like I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to like spread it out. I mean, yeah. as long as it doesn't have decay, it doesn't really mm -hmm. matter. Mm -hmm. Do you have a strat? I am going to put this Harvester onto one Ooh. of my cursed lands. Because the harvester allows me to remove something I've already popped up with, sure, which could be another cursed land. Mm -hmm. Right. So, I mean, that means that. Wait, doesn't that mean that you're all that you're going to be just replacing a cursed land with another cursed land? But it means that if I had one out and this is my second, I'm back to having one out. Yeah, you don't feel I like you have. Back. I see what you're saying. Right. It's That's like you're, it's a cursed land that can like can save itself a little bit. It basically right. is like. Draw another card. Mm -hmm. The All right. card. All right. Um, and replacing it is this Peacekeeper Druid, which mm. is once this turn, if you were to spoil, you may discard your on deck card instead. Mm. And oh, flip cool. The next, and oh, then you cool. flip the next one. Yo, yeah, that's good. And it has a little uh, leaf symbol for yeah. buying from Hannah. Yeah, 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 really good stuff. So I was like, and now I draw. Forget that. I'm not drawing that card. I'm going to draw right. this card. So Matt's filling his field now. I'm Doing at, okay. Two mana right now with two blanks. Two mana with one decay. Three mana. Three mana, one decay. Right. Two decay, four yeah. mana. Do, 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 do. So many choices. And I can see how <laughs> the game would go 60 to 90 minutes now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. There we are. So, so four, four mana next turn. <laughs> four mana. All right, it's my turn. Do I want to push? I don't think I want to push. I'm happy with three mana. Yeah. I'm just going to get this wee babby seedling. Mm. Right. Which one is that one again? Uh, so the seedling, it's just, it's two, uh, it costs me two, it's worth one mana, and ongoing, it cancels all but one uh, decay on that card. I'm yep. going to set that up for, I think, future. Cool. Go for for big decay stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Big DK big, stuff. Big DK energy. So some things that, you know, if you wanted to play this game a lot that you'd be very curious to know is the actual composition of your starting deck. Mm -hmm. How many curse lands you have versus how many fertile lands versus I how many probably should cards. have figured that out. But, yeah, because yeah. that, that, that's really important to know what your probability is of pushing. Yeah. So if I look right now, I know I have three decays in my graveyard. I have three visible, so. Uh, oh, hey, it's another seedling. Mm. Okay. Same thing, but it's a top seedling now. Mm -hmm. I had a bottom seedling. Mm. Mm. Uh, all right, let's uh, prep my field. I got cursed land, cursed land. <laughs> okay, fertile nice, soil. Nice, so nice. Three mana. Nothing. Nothing. Cursed land. All right. So you yeah, have three mana. Turn. Yeah, for what it's worth, I believe the composition of the starting decks is listed in the manual. If you yeah, want to I, I could literally just find out. Okay. Uh, so with that, why don't you go ahead? Uh, I have five. You gonna push? No. I have five. I'm going to buy the plow using this extra one right here. So plow is five. Uh, it's worth a permanent victory condition. Every time I play it, I take one victory condition from the pool. It's worth a mana, and it gives me a green thingy for buying these cards. Just strictly good. Yeah, and I'm actually going to uh, double up a card here. Yeah. Er, maybe not, because I want to... Uh, I, had, I had my whole plan, my whole turn planned out, but then I look at things like these ley lines... No, I'm going to put this on a blank card instead right. uh, with the idea of hopefully setting this up to have both a green and a yellow on one so I can just no-scope a lot of these. Mm -hmm. so, so that's my turn done there. Go ahead, Paul. I was just going to say, so of course the way these things work, anything that you're buying right now, you won't get to use until the it next cycles time I, through. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Each player has a 20-card deck. Yep. Uh, each player's deck has nine cursed land, 
Three fertile soil and eight blank cards. Nine. Okay, so you have about a 45% chance to see one at any time. Okay, I'm going to reveal the next card to the store. Uh, it is a bottom one. It's called the Feral Chieftain. It's the same one we have there. Oh. Uh, so you could, that's really fascinating if you loaded them up on the same card. I've now expended my mana, so I'm back to gray. And we are going to prep Cursed Land. Reveal the top card. Cursed Land. Reveal the top card. Blank. All right, I get two next turn. Oof, you had the big turn and then uh, another so one. He's going to push again. Yeah, but all we right. Can, we can count, right? One, two, three. Okay. So you can push. Well, maybe. Mm -hmm. There's only three fertile soils? Yeah. All right. Hmm. All right, B just got access to two mana. Two dollar dues. I, yeah. could, I could push. That's mm -hmm. a good point. Are you allowed to put cards in upside down in order to move them from the top to the bottom? What? I would guess not. I would say not. <laughs> Are you allowed to put cards from the top? Oh, yeah, you flip them yeah. upside down. It's yeah. like, oh, I don't know. You want to make sure they always properly. read the same way. That's yeah. very funny, though. Yeah. Um, God, I feel like I should try to be generating more mana. Um, and it's really interesting, as this is our first time playing, I'm sure there's a meta mm -hmm. in terms of people who are like, all right, you want to get your resource generation. So people who play super fast, they just like, we grab those until the first four right. turns are skipped and yeah. you start moving ahead. Or what the value is of not playing early turns. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm going to buy this Peacekeeper Druid. Okay. And what does that one do? It is, once this turn, if you were to spoil, you may discard your on-deck card instead. Which... I, it gives you one spoil. It has to be on the field in order to be useful. Yes. It can't yes. be the on-deck card. Yes. Um, yeah. Now, worth saying, that what's great about this game and I love about it, is every single card is has a write-up in the in the book. And so I wanted to double check on that one. Mm -hmm. So it, you can only use it once while it's on your field. Yeah. You can use it during the prep phase if yeah. you need to save yourself or something like that. Um, but that does mean when it continues on to your, finally gets back to your turn and you're doing your, your, your planting, you won't be able to use it again. Yeah. yeah. So. so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide it into one of these cursed lands. Um, yeah, because a couple people may have noticed, because you're able to make your own cards, you can absolutely, if you choose, put multiple decay symbols on a single card. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can absolutely spoil during your prep phase. Yeah. Which means everything goes away, because if you already had two, and then you flip over a card that has a two on it, you spoil instantly. Yeah. And you throw all yours away, and all you can do is wait for it to come back, and then you go, all right, and my thing is spoiled, and continue on. So you're kind of like almost missed two Just turns toss Four. Whoa, yeah, so wayfinder. Yeah, but you're oh. getting you're getting a bear uh, bear paw and you're getting a mana, and you're also and gonna a get victory a victory point yeah, at the end. So it's kind of like wow, powerful seems, uncommon. Seems rare to get four at level one though. Anyway, I yep. will discard. Well, I move on to prep. It. So here we go. We got that, two, that, mm. that. Wow. That, Ooh. Wow. That. that. There goes that. your whole deck, and you spoil. There not we spoil, go. Pardon me. Yeah, but I am done doing that. At four mana. I, at four I, mana. I just way to make me look bad, Beach. I just said <laughs> how hard it is to do, and you're like, well, I'm well, speaking we'll... of other people with four mana. It's now Matt's turn. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. It's true. Now, it's Matt, true. would you like to push? I'm not going to push it. Push it. Are you going to buy the Wayfinder? I had a plan, and mm -hmm. then the Wayfinder came around. It seems pretty yeah. good. Yeah. What's more important, the Wayfinder or this Worm? This seems better than the Worm in every way, hmm? like if you're purchasing yeah. stuff. So now That's the Druid Song is a wild symbol. That symbol can be used for literally any other symbol. Well, then I take it back, that seems powerful. Very yeah. powerful. I... This one right here. Mm -hmm. That's a little purple swirly dude. Yeah. Yeah. The confusion <clears throat> mark. Ah, oh, hell, I'm gonna... By the Wayfinder. Yeah. Oh. Wayfinder. Wayfinder. <laughs> I'm going to put it on this fertile soil. Ooh. Double you're up. also going for the old double up. Now it is worth two. Would you like me to refill this for mana? you? Please, thank you. Wellspring, it's worth four, but gives you a leaf and a claw. No mana, though. No mana, though. So that one is only good for buying veils. Yep. Seems good, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> First land. Oop. First land. Nothing. Oof, two. Two mana. Two value turn. All right. It is my turn. 
Now, okay, so it said nine cursed lands. Yeah. So let's 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 for all the math heads out there. Yeah, let's yeah. do. It. So I've got mm-hmm. two showing and one here, and I've got so that's three. Yep. One, two. You the- theoretically three, have three a turn. Four. Mm-hmm. So, so seven. That means there's two left in your deck. And, and how many of the other ones did you prefer? Fertile soil. So one, two. I've definitely got one. Three. So there is no way that I can get. M- <laughs> yeah. The only chance is so there. So there's two. Yeah. There's four cards in here. Yeah. So that means that two of one of these is also a curse land. Yeah, you're right? all spoiled. The best thing you can do, best case is scenario, get, is you can push and, and get, then get a blank card and stop. Yes, mm-hmm. but I do get four mana. That's and that's the thing, right? Because you, if you push, you you get the mana from the. Mm. From the oh, curse, so you're asking right? yourself, what are the chances that? Yeah. Right. And I don't want to spoil this early in the game. I think that's pretty. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Who could possibly spoil on like their first or second turn? You know. Uh, all right. So you know what I'm gonna do? It's just again strictly. It it it, it feels weird because it's like, I don't know. Is cleansing rain any good when played? Search your deck for any, and you may put that card into your. Well, Discord you know the question though. you had right there of like, ah, oh, can I push here and not hit a clo- a cursed yeah. land? You can search your deck. You'll know all the cards in it. Yeah. And then, not the location, because you'd shuffle afterwards, presumably. Yeah, and but then, then it, shuffle. It, then it basically puts you down to having eight curses in your deck instead of nine. Yeah. You, you would know whether or not you were mm. shuffling or not, but it ends up being a card. But yeah, the fact that you always draw unless you hit Decay means they're not dead cards, which is a, hard to train your brain to evaluate in a different way, right? Yeah. Um, part of me just really wants to get that Wellspring, too. Mm. Not the uh, confusion mark. No, I mean the wellspring seems pretty cool. <sighs> oh, this is so difficult. Yeah. So when we counted, you have four cards. Four cards. And two of them are curses, or one of them is a cursed yeah. land. One, so three, one. seven in your deck. So two of the unknown cards are cursed cards. Oh, so that means nine. So I'm hoping that this card is a blank. Card. Yeah, I think you're uh, mathematically. I, yeah. That's a bad. That's yeah. a bad push. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy this seedling. Okay. Uh, that's what I bought last time. But a good sure. idea. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna put it on this blanky card. Just you know, rampant for later. Mm-hmm. Uh, replacing this with a ah, it's a deadwood harvester. This is the one where you can discard any other card on yep. the field. Nice. So we'll discard these, and oh, that means this turn is gonna suck. I'm gonna get You'll two get mana two. Yeah. for sure. So curse land. Mm-hmm. All right, See, it, you it would've, would've, I would have been spoiled. in a bad spot. Yeah, curse land. Uh, I'm gonna say that this is the blank card. It nope. is not curse land. Okay. Two mana. Oof. All right. So I don't like that I have two mana. I want to get this. I did the math as well. One of these is a curse land. Okay. One of these is a fertile land. One of these is a blank card. Oh. So I only have a one in three chance of spoiling. So I'm gonna push. Okay. Ooh. Oh, and I can right. stop there, right? Yes. I don't have to keep going. Oh, you can't keep going. I don't think you can. You can only keep push pushing once. if yeah. you want. Yeah. Really? You can mm-hmm. keep pushing as much as you want. Yeah. Oh. Push your push your luck, huh. my friend. Push your luck. So I'm going to stop there. I'm going to spend three. I'm going to buy the Deadwood Harvester. That seems like a good card. The Deadwood Harvester. I'm going to put it on a blank one here. I'll flip this here for you. Yep. We've got a Dawn Singer. Ooh. So it gives a it gives a light. Uh, and is worth four, and it has a guardian symbol. And when you harvest, you gain one for each guardian symbol on that card. So it's kind of like the feral chieftain. Combo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's see how my math Except is going. Those are in the same spot. So You'd have to take work. the other guy. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So like I was saying before, one of these should be a blank card. One of these should be a cursed land or fertile soil. Okay. So my math was correct. Mm-hmm. Nice. So we. This is the first time somebody's emptied their deck. Yeah. So I just shuffle and I keep going. I believe so. Yep. All right. Let's see if I can see some of my new cards. Looks like the new, next turn is going to be good. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I like this game a lot. This yeah, game is <laughs> very cool. Yeah, yeah. it All has right. a lot of the. We were saying earlier. I'm like, it has a lot of dice forge feel to me. Yeah. And though at the beginning, I do feel like you feel like I'm not doing much of anything. Mm-hmm. Nothing's really happening yet. I'm feeling like everyone's It'll getting ahead of me, right? And yeah. then as you start to move, you're like. Oh wait! Now it's, it's going to get momentum. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah it, momentum is what it, it, feels it doesn't like. take a lot to have a, you know like a turn like like Matt and I are having right where mm-hmm. in the early phase we're just like well I got two mana yeah all right so let's keep going here blank oh, oh, oh one of my new hey. cards we got my Deadwood Harvester what is it so when it gets played I may discard a card that's in my field so I'm going to get rid of one of my decays just to kind of keep moving okay 
And I got another decay. So one, two. two. So you would have had to stop there. Correct? And now right. I stop here. Yeah. So I didn't get that much. So I didn't actually set me ahead. Instead of having three, I still have three, but I've got a cursed land out of my deck. Yeah. Which supposedly is good. So now I see four. So there's only five left. Mm -hmm. Well, there's technically six because like, that's still in my deck. I think objectively, yeah. the f more cards you pull, the better. Like uh, that's pretty what much I think. in any circumstance, because the faster you're moving through your deck, the more you're going to get the cards you want. Now, Beat has four mana to play with now. This felt very weird because, like, um, I think I'm buying this. Sure. Yeah. Which one? The Dawn Singer. So this is Dawn Singer uh, because it's, it's worth. It's it costs me four mana, which I have. On Harvest, I gain one mana for each Guardian symbol on this card. It already has its own Guardian symbol. Um, but also, I'm getting a Sunburst out of it, so I'm going to be able to generate a single Sunburst and hopefully start seeing more of those. And we're going to probably do that on a completely blank card. Ooh. So we're still very much in the early stages. Very yeah. much. Yeah. Imagine the medium stage is when we start buying these, and then finally the late stage is when we start Ooh. racing for grabbing That's as many it. of the victory yeah. conditions as possible. Right? Now, worth yeah. noting that we're getting also into a point, you can keep going, Beach, yep. um, with uh, buying more things. Uh, you can only buy two advancements a turn. Oh, Beach had the three. Yeah. yeah, three in a row. You can buy two advancements, and you can buy two veils in one turn. Re ooh, revealing the next card, we have a Wellspring. That's the four mana to buy, and it oh, gets so you a two. Greeny and a Bear Paw. Ooh. A Greeny and a Bear Paw. We have two of those. Well, I like how that kind but, of, yeah. Which, by the way, they are the Animal Spirit, the Forest Spirit, the Sky Spirit, and the, the Purple Swirly Spirit. The Wild Spirit. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's actually only three symbols out of all the veils. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I am going to push. You have two. Ooh, we're pushing. All right. Let's see it. Let's see it, Matt. Did you count? Oh, oh no. Matt spoiled. I have spoiled. Okay. I flipped this. I have a mana up. Good stuff. But hey, I'm through my deck. So now you can start. You're going to do your prep again. Oh. That's a tough one. I mean, maybe, maybe sometimes if you're like, you know what? It's not worth it for me to buy an extra energy. I'd rather, I'd rather spoil yeah. and then leapfrog the next turn is potentially... Like, what if he combos off? Like, what if right now he just goes like a few more cards and yeah. like, he what doesn't if, slow though? down, he sets yeah. himself up with like seven mana? Yeah. What if, though? What if? Wouldn't that be mm -hmm. a blue sky moment I, for me? I'm imagining this is like, you know, these druids are... Oh. are these druids are planting fields, and they're like, yeah. so yeah. how much can we plant here? Eh, I don't know. Let's try. Let's try to put some more in. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Oh, so, I messed it up. So now <laughs> I'm in an interesting position, right? Where I've got two. I'm in the same position as Matt. But we know that that's a blank card. So I'm going to push. You just go to three. And go to three. And you get yep. three mana. That's yeah. really good. Do you want to push again? I'm considering <laughs> it. <laughs> now the blank deck. So uh, let's do some math. That's 14 cards, six yeah, of which are curses. Sure. So you have a 50% chance, or 60% chance-ish for it to not be a curse. Yeah. But... Would you rather have three or I'm gonna push. Oh, oh hey, hey, yeah. Press your luck. All right. Let's see what you get. Let's see what you get, my man. Don't know why I would push in a blank card, but. Oh, well, it's exciting. Yeah. If, if you really want four, if you really want four, it makes sense. I if really you, want if four. If you don't care about three, but you really want four, absolutely push. Ben the Druid is like, yeah, yeah, we can plant more stuff, no problem. But what I have played a five? Druid for a number of years. <laughs> yeah. There's one thing it I know is about my Ben, go-to class. Is he knows druids. Yeah. Ben the druid engineering, we call him. Let's see it, let's see it, let's see it. One time no whammy. No whammy. Oh. Are you gonna keep pushing? The odds get worse. The more you push, the, wor the worse the odds get. Is it even worth it? So somebody in the chat said the math was actually closer to 57% chance previously. Mm. So you're you're getting pretty close to like 52% chance to not bust. But like that push you just did is meaningless because you got nothing from it. Mm. <laughs> it was an empty gesture. No, no, not necessarily though, because the odds get worse. There's a chance early on oh, where, like it's Chad worth made the risk. Oh, such a good point. What? Yeah. I shouldn't have pushed yeah. again because now I missed the reshuffle for yeah. whatever I buy this turn. Oh. I, I goofed up. That's okay. Oh, interesting. Because I'm pushing again. Oh, hey, let's go. Yeah. Excitement. And, 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 and. Ah. <laughs> All right. Oh, well. The greed. That's okay. <clears throat> uh, honestly, a lot of the stuff that was there was not in yep. incredibly uh, great for me. Mm. All right. One. So good. You're at two, and you're at three. All right. All right. 
Uh, I have three mana. I'm going to buy Cleansing Rain. Uh, when played, you may search your deck for any card and put it into your discard pile and shuffle afterwards. So that's going to go into a blank card. That's the one I was going to buy. Oh, so well. drop that Maybe here. Here's another one. Uh, Wayfinder. Oh, another yeah. one of those. Mm. And now it's time to start showing stuff. So Cursed Land. Top card. Fertile Soil. Blank. Second Decay. All right, All right. we're at three for next turn. And uh, pass. Yeah, but you just got so, a tough thing. Yeah, it's Dude. weird because all of all of my cards, yeah. I just picked up because I'm like, I'm going to start shuffling just in case. Yeah. But then you guys made that point, and yeah. I'm like, technically all of my cards haven't been put back into the thing yet. They have not. So you could grab one you of got these. Two. You grab a third of soil, put it on one of those, and do your shuffle. Yeah, and which... that way it's my, that makes it back into my deck. Yeah. Which feels really good. And there's nothing else for two out, eh? Nope. It's all fours at the bottom. So I think what I'm going to do is... Get fertile. I'm gonna get fertile. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna fertilize. Ooh, and you put it Ooh, on. Mama. <laughs> now that is that's an interesting thing now yeah. because all you had was decay and no blank cards. You have to put the fertile on one of the decay cards. But I also feel like this this has kind of a feel good for me to be like at least if I flip that I'm like ah well I'm getting two, two out of that. Yeah. It's not so yeah. bad, you know. Yeah. Like cool turn. So uh, we eat that. We throw that into my discard pile um, and. So that's the first one I play. Yep. Yep. Now I gotta shuffle up so I can keep going. It's gonna take me a second. Yeah, the putting upgrades on decay cards is interesting because, of course, you're guaranteed to draw two decay cards every turn. Yeah. yeah. So maybe there's advantage to putting good stuff on those cards as well. Yeah, I know. I know. I remember that um, when we would play Dice Forge, uh, Ben, you would uh, sometimes. Put stuff on it on dice to be like at least when I roll this, I want there to be good feels for one of my dice. Yes. That no matter I, what, I always went super stack on one dice. Yeah. That's like no matter what I do, I know that at least that dice is going to be something I like. I have it's notoriously terrible luck. Yeah. So I stack it in the way that like <laughs> at least there's no way I'm not going to get one good thing. Yeah, you, don't, you don't roll a one and a one. You're like I roll a one and something cool, yeah. and it's like that's at least you feel better as you're playing the game, and yeah. that can be very valuable for when you're playing a game like this. The whole thing is to have fun, right? Okay, okay. let's so see. It. I'm gonna peel this off the bottom and put it on top. Ooh. I don't know what it is. Ah, <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's see how lucky you are. That's the one card around. cut, right? Yeah. Sure, sure. Hey! hey. <laughs> wow! <laughs> what a coincidence, oh. Beans. Your cool new card was the one you I put didn't on know top. What it was? Oh man! What? How could that have happened? No. <laughs> I've definitely been definitely not been taking lessons from Alex on how to on how to shuffle cards. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do want to learn how to do that. Uh, all right, let's go again. How to cheat a card game? Well, no, how to how to do the thing where uh, how to slide of hand. How to, yeah, do the slide so, of hand with. Worth cards. noting that that card just counts as one. It's just a sunburst. It's, it's yeah. just and, one. Yeah. Oh yeah. well, no, it's an energy. And it's, it's a matter. Oh yeah, and yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, right. welcome people coming over from Cameron's channel. Sub Cam fam. Hey. Welcome Raiders. Thank you very much for joining us. Oh look at that. Yeah. What is it? You. That's pretty good feel. So then we have two decay up, but at least. I, if I spoil, I can discard my on-deck card. So you, well, you, also have, you also have a green and a yellow, which means we might be buying one of these for the first time yeah, all game. That's oh, pretty you exciting. can buy a, buy a ley line. Or I could, I could buy the Blooming Arbor. But which, let's keep going. Let's keep yeah. going. What's so, the next card? Blank. Okay. That's not bad. Okay, so if, if I was to spoil... You, don't, you haven't spoiled yet. I haven't spoiled yet, but I can discard my on-deck card instead. So I could push... But I got so much good stuff well, out. But you're not, you're not pushing right. <laughs> now. Right, I can't push yet. But yeah. if I wanted to do that yeah. in the future, in the future, it's like, oh, I got that to protect me. But I have so much cool stuff. Yeah. 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 I also right. like um, that you can do that math when other people doing it. You don't have to do yeah. all the counting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pass to you, I guess. Speaking of pushing in the future, I'm gonna push. Ooh. Ooh. And. Hey! Oh, I see. Three. Three Lamau. But what are you gonna he's get? Got four. What are you gonna get I on? Have four. Oh, four, right? Because yeah. he's got his thing from spoiling. Oh, right. I want to start uh, getting Something. mystical up in here. Oh. Let's get mystical. 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 <laughs> I want to get mystical. Let's get really mystical. mystical. Listen to your druid talk. Yeah. Druid talk. <laughs> Let me see your mana work. <laughs> <laughs> we need to do your mana work for this year. <laughs> Uh, we make it sound like a performance review. Yeah. Wayfinder, yeah. you give me mana. Yeah, strong. I will.
will insert you into a cursed land. That dude seems pretty good. He always finds a way. And the next card is a Wellspring card. Well, all right, build so, it. <laughs> so build it. if you manage to put a blank card together with 12 energy, you can make the ultimate triple Wellspring. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come on down to Surge's Wellspring Emporium. <laughs> All right. Got two cursed. He's going. He's going. Look, Ooh. That fertile. You use this, right? Oh, yes, I use that. Hey! I'm just absolutely feckened right now. <laughs> That's a word that I don't know what it means. <laughs> Me neither. Fertile. fertile. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. like fecundity. Yeah. yeah. You can just fucking. Feckend? You can just How do I pronounce this word? Yeah, you can just, feckend, yeah. yeah, when you want to feckend, you can feckend. Yeah. Ah. yeah. Anyway, I have four mana up, but it is now Ben's turn. Yeah. Um, you also got four up. Mm -hmm. I yeah. do. Damn. Or you could push. push it, push it. May I interest you in a wellspring? <laughs> well, here's the thing. I was actually thinking about buying two fertile soils. Mm. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, get that rolling. And just have like one triple fertile soil card Build that's just worth three. It's like ancestral. Yeah. But it doesn't draw cards. <laughs> it's like Lotus. Build your own oh Lotus. Oh my god, I could just build a Lotus? <laughs> That's all I had to do? Right? Just play this game and I got my own Lotus? Shit. Uh, hmm. One Lotus with three fertile soils. I mean, Veils seem pretty good, but... You can't buy them with... Oh, well, yeah, you got your Well Springs. You mm. can maybe get them with. Hmm. But that's in the future. I'm going to make to make yeah. a. I'm going to make a lotus. Build your own lotus. Yeah. Love it. And we are our first fully completed card. It's going to feel so good when you hit that. Yeah. Look at this card. And then you want to buy something, but you don't have a slot because that was one of the. <laughs> the only you drew. Oh Jesus! Oh <laughs> damn, Matt! <laughs> Why would you curse him like that? That's super rude. Why would Welcome you say everybody that? Welcome the last time that Matt Griffiths is on an AFK. Whoa. Enjoy this show. He's not going to be here again. Uh, <laughs> That's so mean. You make it fucking worth it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Welcome to 2020. <laughs> Matt just like slowly pours water on you. <laughs> I'm in my 30s now, and that's when I get nasty. Yeah. Oh, that's fair. Right. If, is it your today your birthday? Yep. Happy birthday, Happy Matt. Happy birthday. Yeah. You can't say anything bad about him. It's his birthday. Oh, yeah. shit. Take it back. You want some uh, cake? We have cake. We have a lot it's of cake so here. so much cake we gotta right. get rid of. I kept going like, oh, these cupcakes are for something. I'm not gonna eat them. Yeah. <laughs> They're for everybody's birthdays, it seemed, that we, happened at the end of the year. We have a yeah. tendency of throwing shit in our fridge. Uh-huh. And then, like, people are like, oh, I'm sure people will eat these. But then everyone else goes, oh, I think these are for a bit. Yeah. And then nobody eats the thing. Yes. I was gonna try to come up with some sort of universal, like, labeling thing to be like, it's like, this is free to eat if it's in the fridge. Yeah. Kind of deal. We're going to do that at Desert Bus. Yeah. This is the please eat table. This is the don't yeah, eat table. Yeah, have one of the shelves. So, just starting off not strong. Free eat. Yeah, and yeah. better. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, my there you go. Man, this is the only game where a fully blank card with nothing on it is a good thing. Yeah, yeah it's not bad. <laughs> with. Oh, Ooh, Jesus. You're at four. four. Yeah. Five. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> All right, yeah, all right. five, five mana on my turn. I'm liking it. Mm, that's pretty good. I'm so, liking it. Uh, I did some counting, Excuse and me. I have, bless you, I have seven unknown cards, three of which are cursed lands. Yeah. I don't like three. I prefer four. But one? you could buy fertile soil. For three? For two. But why would I do that? That's just, that's just wasted value. That sounds that that sounds lame. So I'm going to push, because again, I think I have a better than 50-50 chance. And even Ooh. if I spoil, don't care. Because uh, it's As fun. your friend, I hope you don't spoil. Thank you. As somebody playing against you on this game, I hope you spoil. So, yeah. strategically, I don't think I don't think there's any risk. <clears throat> That's the stuff. Literally, nothing bad uh, could happen except for you spoiling. <laughs> and you did it. That's so weird. I did the... I, Man, I, as your friend, I'm really bummed for you right yeah. now. <laughs> what are the chances? I took a calculated risk, but boy, am I bad at math. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that meme once. It's All so right. good. <laughs> Fertile soil. Okay. Um, we're gonna go infinite here because yeah, it's like for the future. Yeah. See, I knew I knew what was going on in the deck. Right, so you got four mana for your next four turn. Four next turn? That's what I wanted this turn. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> All awesome. right. Okay, weird calculations. I technically have three mana up because yeah. I have the on, on harvest I gain yeah. one mana for, for just that one that's on there. And you have your two spirit symbols. Oh. But yeah, you you y'all oh. didn't empty this. <laughs> 
so no. I, I that, can't approach that. That sounds like a you problem. It is a me problem. Why is it? Spring. Uh, he only has three unless he pushes. So uh, I think what I do, and yeah, unless I push. I mean, he's got push backup. You got push protection. I do. It's like surge yeah. protection. Good Christ, that is true. If I were to spoil you, may discard your on deck card instead. So I should just push. Yeah. Because I should just try it. Now worth noting, yes. you could double spoil. Yeah. Yeah. But what are the odds of that? Yeah. <laughs> we could do math on it. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty goddamn high. Let's like I'm go showing Hugh three. Bris. You got push protection. You're fine. There's no way that the next two cards after that. What are the chances? He's saying it back. There is no way. I defy the god. That's not even. That's not even going to be one. Yeah. You ready? Okay. Okay. Sorry. So push protection. Yeah. I can discard my on deck card instead. So you tap it. Yeah. So basically, whatever. Yeah. We know. We know. We know. The the book says. The book says. Turn it ninety degrees to the left. They don't own that. So yeah. All right. What are the chances? It still has value there. What are the chances twice? What are the chances? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty <laughs> fucking high. <laughs> you don't have to listen to us. I didn't say anything, so you can't oh. ruin that goddamn hand. <laughs> but hey, you have one mana. I do have a mana showing. It's true. Oh, Beach, I'm so sorry. I th I feel like I peer pressured you into that. <laughs> it's okay. At least we're not playing with. With cowards, it's fine. Yeah. Oh, I love it. This is a this it's, is a table full of uh, yeah. strong-willed individuals. Okay, yeah. so uh, I miss my harvest discard. Obviously, that's the focus. My discard. So we prep. So yeah, push that. protection. Push protection what fails. It did. What yeah. kind of protection? You should return that card. That production. Would you, obviously you should be fire that druid. Yeah. yeah. God damn it. Well, okay. We'll do this. Get my earth chant chorus up. That's the one where if I add yeah. another advance, oh, you're gonna have a good turn less. next turn. Okay. Yeah. Okay, three, four mana. Well, three mana. One, yeah, two, mana. three. Plus your... Oh, plus that. You're right. Four mana. Mm. Mm. And okay. okay, so you've got mana. four mana, and so hypothetically, you have six if you put it on that one or card. Or eight. You could buy two of these for two each. Yeah. And load it up onto that one, and still have some af afterwards. I'd have to. Afterwards? I'd have to get the yeah. After get, get two onto here, which is not bad. It does mean that that becomes a generator for uh, spirit yeah, symbols. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or pull out something that's worth six. Nothing's worth six. Yeah, nothing at all is oh, worth six. Oh, but I six. get that feral chieftain out maybe. Oh, get, let's get mm, feral. I'm gonna do that anyway. Yeah. Uh, play passes to my left. Matt. All would, right. You're gonna push? Uh, <laughs> no. Sir, that didn't work last. My powers time. are. I <laughs> Serge went into oblivion. And I missed him. <laughs> we put. We he he felt so bad about peer pressure. He had to walk out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get a druid song because I'm feeling magical and also lyrical. Oh, okay. So and that can be used for anything. Yeah, I get I get the confusion mark, and one victory point at the end of the game. All right. Here's... I'm going to put it. Oh, I gotta wait till you do your thing. On this cursed land. All right. So that at least it's good for something. Well, people buying things. Show us what it is. It is good. Uh, Whoa. worth two mana. When played, you may discard any other card in your field. Oh, so it's like the other one. Mindful Owl. <laughs> Mindful oh my owl. god. It's worth six. So it's like... I'm it's one like, short. That's like three cards put together. I'm not. <laughs> but, you are. But I can't put it onto this card. <laughs> so you are too short. <laughs> ah, shit, yeah. Woo! <sighs> I gotta buy Hootie. You? Why not me? Because Hootie's my son. Matt flipped a Hootie. What? Yeah, look at this mindful owl. It's worth two, and you may discard any other card in your field when you play it. Uh, sir, sir, your uh, necklace is just from the yeah. Thank I, you, Paul. I have four mana and a bear paw. Nice. Oh. So, I'm one short. Do you push for Hootie? Time to count. Time to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's and only there are... one left in there. That's a 25% chance that you spoil. That's pretty good. It's not You'll bad. be fine. Yeah. It's not uh, bad. Hubris isn't <laughs> real here. It's not It's not as if there's some type of karma that Beach yeah. can inflict on you. Uh, druids must be bold! Gods don't exist where we live. Are you a druid or a drew don't? <laughs> what? <laughs> a druid or a drew didn't? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Druid or drew ain't? Mm hmm. Ooh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I have so much mana right now. How bad do you want it? Yeah, but... It's me, Ben. 
It's Hootie. My son. My, your son. It's such a good car. I love you so much, Ben. Oh, don't, don't do that. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> that makes me feel sad. Uh... uh Nothing else that's like amazing here, though. It's really? gonna look. To be honest, it's gonna wheel around to you. Nobody's but I, want, I don't know if I'm. I, this is the closest I could be right yeah, now. Yeah. Will mm -hmm. he be at six next time? Even mm -hmm. if he doesn't buy it now. Oh! 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 oh, oh. 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 What a good setup for next hand! Oh yeah, I buy that mindful <laughs> owl. Hootie, oh. my son, come home. But I wanted it. Suck it. <laughs> I'm not gonna suck your owl, Ben. All right, my beautiful boy. This got weird. <laughs> All right, uh, and I replace it with this druid song. Ooh, oh. hey, Ben. Yeah, he's here. <laughs> Ready to have some pizza. Yeah, I'm gonna put him. Does Hootie still taste dusty? Or did we clean Hootie? I don't know. I smelled inside of him and he didn't get better. Mm. There we go. Why is Hootie looking at me? <laughs> He's like, You'll never get me, Matt. I belong only to Ben. Also, I talk like that owl from King's Quest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Prince Graham! Or is it Kingra? It's Kingra. King He's because King it's King's Quest. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, okay. He starts as the king, though. That's true. All right. There's a dangerous I snake. Descard did that. All right, let's do my thing. I got this field of flowers, so I already got two. Heck good, yeah. Good start. Feeling good. Mm -hmm. We've only seen one of those so Fertile far. Fertile soil. Oh my god. Nothing. Right, and this has to be the crystalline was on the bottom. Mm -hmm. so I got four mm -hmm. mana right now. So I haven't been buying anything with symbols. I've just been buying mana cards. And yeah. I'm hoping that, like... We'll see what happens, That'll right? translate into you getting some of the more advanced. Yeah, I think... So I'm, I'm trying something <laughs> out where... I'm actually not really going for veils. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna see if maybe I can win purely on mana. Yeah. yeah. Like getting like big expensive things. If you can exhaust the victory points, that's kind of. <clears throat> Who knows? Yeah. yeah. We I mean, don't know. Again, we don't know what the meta is, right? Yeah, I have no idea. All right. So four. I'm gonna put this card. Yeah. On yeah. The top. Yeah. Good. Who good. knows what it's gonna be? Mm -hmm. If you flip that owl, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna piss my pants. Oh, all right. <laughs> Blank card. All right. Blank card. All right. uh, seedling. Oh yeah. yeah. Wow, what a next turn. Fertile oh soil. My oh my god. Curse land, okay. All right. Seven, two. All right. Are you playing on level three two, now? Two, four, or two, three, four, five, six, seven. Man. Oh my god. Not quite. Unless I push for that magic yeah. <laughs> uh, All right, so my turn. I've counted. There's no way that this is a cursed card, so I'm going to push, reveal the top card. The game comes with the sleeves. It's by a the plow. Way, uh, I have five, so I'm going to purchase. Uh, let me check this. I'm going to purchase a bottom feral chieftain. Uh, put it into this <laughs> empty spot, uh, which oh is dear. pretty good there. Uh, that's also spending this one. These go into my discard. We reveal the top card, which is a five man or four mana hawk. Ooh, oh, hawk. It's worth two victory, but it's another decay. It's also Whoa. a soldier. It's worth two victory points. It's a lot. Yeah. yeah. This hawk is a lot. That's a lot of burb. The decay symbols are rough, though. All right, yeah. and I'm going to start. Um, I'm going to start shuffling my deck. This is one of the first sort of accessible decay cards that we could put into our deck here. Yeah, which is powerful. But that's a way to slow your deck down. So the first card I'm showing is a plow. I've got my first five oh, mana Mr. card. Oh, And yeah, and you, when, if you harvest, when when it gets to your harvest turn, you'll get a victory. point. I'll get a victory point. Well, Ooh. I'll be the first person to get a victory point this game. Yeah. Remember that was the card I bought off the very first turn. All right, and then we keep going here. Blank, first decay, blank, second decay, blank, fertile. So we're, we're standing next turn with one, two, three, four, uh, and a victory point and one greenie. Ooh. Pass. I have one, two, you don't, three. Do you, you don't get the victory point until you harvest, right? Uh, yes, that's in the harvest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh wow! So if you spoiled, <laughs> you would actually lose that victory point too. Well, I, I yes, yeah, correct. It's at the Interesting. Ready. So I have one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. And if I put anything on this card, I could actually pay two less for it. But there's n nothing is six on the table currently. So the hawk is only two for you. Yeah. 
if I put it on this card. Mm, oh, right, 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 right. I don't know if that's worth it to you. Is there any particular reason that Surge's token has a star on the back? So when you're playing this not pre-constructed, like with me going first, that's yeah. how you determine who goes first. Oh, oh you put them all uh, random you, in you, one yeah, person? Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't like the ultimate wellspring idea? <laughs> no one likes that, apparently. <laughs> It's a cool idea. It would mean the having to wheel to get it into the And you thing. could get the Stream of Vigor. Gain two mana, and you may buy a third advancement this turn. Oh my god. Every time you harvest, every, you just every get two? Turn. No matter what, yeah. yeah. Holy moly. Clap, 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 clap. <laughs> okay. That's really strong. Yeah. I mean, I could buy so those this are just... and this and put it on here. And what every about time I flip it. Dad Hawk, though. Yeah, I know, right? The Hawk sounds, sounds Hawk's really only worth good. two. What about Burb Friend? Hawks 2 for me if I put it on this. Mm -hmm. I didn't know if I wanted to do that because... Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. the Ninja Theory Ashrams makes a good point. If you only buy one thing yeah. with the two, you get to keep your mana for the next turn. Like the, the little mm. mana globe, you don't have to spend it this turn. That's true. So maybe you can have a bigger turn if you keep mm -hmm. it. So if I buy the Hawk for two... I wish I had exactly one more mana. I wish I had five mm. more mana. But you know I'm greedy. One, so. two, Ooh. three, four, five, six, seven. So that means there's two left. Those are pretty good odds. Those, Those are good pretty odds. good but, odds. Okay, now worth noting, mm -hmm. if you spoil, there's zero benefit. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, of so, that. But if you get... Okay. Are, you, are you going for nine? Is that what you're going I'm for? I'm buying the hawk. Okay. okay. I'm going to put it into this earth chant chorus. Okay. Okay. So that's... Ta -ta! That's worth two. I think, that's a, I think that's a strong pickup. what I've got. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you got two left now. And you can't push it. You could point. buy a Fertile Soil for one if you put it on, if you grab a middle one. But wouldn't it be free? Because it's minus two? Oh, yes. <laughs> wow, that thing just gets Fertile Soil for nothing. I could just do that, couldn't yeah. I? But then you've used all your spots and that, yeah, and that card that is full. Seem very but good. it then generates mana. Um, but I could also just buy this. Yep, one for wellspring. Two. Nice. All right. And put that in here. Very decent. And that gives me a card that generates a lot of that. A lot of everything. That card just buys a stream of vigor. Yeah. 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 <laughs> as long as I pull it up, that's yeah, what it does. Every time. Wow. That's remarkable. So that's it. So that's done. What a turn, Beach. What a turn. Seems pretty good. We discard and that's let's flip <clears throat> these. Another hawk. Ka -ka. In the middle this time. And hawkling. Oh, they're guardians. And also generate a sunburst if you need. Victory condition, they're a knight, so if you can get that knight synergy going on... <laughs> if, guardian. if I was allowed to flip advancements, I might have actually bought this and put that in my second slot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. double burn? Yeah. Except yeah. it would have been double decay and been like, yeah. oh, that's a good way to screw myself. Oh my god. <laughs> Instant spoil. Who got the one that uh, eliminates the decay? Uh, ben bought two of them. Yeah. Oh, what do I want to do? Oh, I need to finish this. Yeah. So yeah. that. Yep. Yeah. That. It was a free push. Could have... Wow. Three, Three. Four. There it is. <clears throat> All right. That's not four. bad. Start with four. <clears throat> okay. I could buy a hawk of my own. Kaka. Mm -hmm. Or I could buy the podlings. Kaka. That's what podlings sound like as well. Do not give me that. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> Uh, you're you're, you're the you. one endowing, dude. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, yeah. I'm pretty sure short Surge was agreeing with you. Yeah. Yeah. I'll yeah. be back in a minute. He was agreeing. <laughs> I think I will buy another Druid song to get another purple mark. Nice, That's good. And we find this bear totem. Bear, 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 bear. That is just totally a. It's just a bear. It's Cost not even a totem. Six. It gives you a bear and a tree and is a victory condition. That's, that's pretty cool. Very mm -hmm. interesting. Mm -hmm. That's very interesting. This is this is my bear totem, but that's just a bear. Are you gonna argue with it that it's not a totem? No, yeah. yeah. this is a new symbol we haven't seen yet. That's a tree. That's not the usual green symbol it's we've seen. Yes, sorry. So that's a new thing. I'm yeah. glad that it's brought up. So that is called growth. Mm -hmm. Uh it is not it is not for veil. Instead, what it does is it counteracts a decay. So for every growth that you uh, uncover, it counteracts one of the the case that you would flip on. That's your basically thing. card draw. Yes, that, yep. is, that is fair to call that. That is very powerful. Yeah. So it's not 
unlike that other the ones that you have, that doesn't care about what's on its own card. That's actually as you're drawing cards. Yes. Card effects. Yeah. Okay, cool. Could you call it very powerful? I would call it that, yes. In the name of improv. Very powerful. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. I, I like that. This is my bear totem. Yeah, it is also a bear. It, it's two things. <laughs> it is actively my a bear. bear totem is in the shape of a bear yeah. and also in the existence of a bear. It's wearing a necklace, which makes right. it more powerful. So I drew a decay. Yep. Okay. And then I drew <laughs> my decay with my deadwood harvester. So I moved one decay off of my draw. That makes sense. And now I'm getting blanks. Wait, how does the dead, Dreadwood Harvester work? You discard one card that's on the field when it gets played. Oh, so, yeah. okay. Yeah, he got rid of one of his. Thankfully, I drew a decay right before. Nice. So yeah. I had something good to discard. Wow, just running all the blank cards in a row here. Oof, oh, no. That's a two minute. That's and a tough turn. Yikes. That turn. Yikes. So I've got seven. Hmm. Um, I think I know what I want to do. And that is? There's uh, no other hoodie here, though. Up until the bear totem yeah, got played. Yeah, changes things. The eh? bear totem is a very good card, but also I see that I could, with seven mana, buy a feral chieftain and put pod... Oh, no, I can't. They're, They're, the They're both tops. They're both in the same oh. spot. Then, actually, that makes this so much easier. Okay. I just realized... Yeah, I was like, oh, man, feral chieftain and podling, but, yeah, they're in the same spot. Um, I mean, you could put them on different cards. But the, the Feral Chieftain only gets uh, extra... On the discard. On, on the card itself. Oh, okay. See. So I think I'm going to go with Bear Totem. Yeah, Bear okay. Totem seems very strong. Very strong. Yeah, I'll yeah. grab a... I'll buy this Bear Totem. So that gives you one of the Bear Claws, and then one of the Growth, and then what else does it do? Uh, victory Point at the end of the game. Yeah. Cool. So we talked about Growth, Beach. We talked about, yeah, how it's effectively oh. just card draw. I can already see this it's through a, the yeah, another. It's, it's another Bear, bear another Totem! Bear. Mm. Middle one. Mm. Yeah. Uh, all right. So I do that. Uh, let's do my next thing. So I've got a cursed land, and a cursed land. Uh -oh. After that last good turn, I'm due yeah. for a pretty bad one. Oh, a seedling. And mm -hmm. Ooh! Ooh! the lotus. The build your <laughs> lotus. Yeah, feels good. There's a big turn. Holy moly. Yeah. Blank. Yeah. Cursed land. All right. So that's six. Six next turn. That's still great. Uh, the, ramp, the, the gruel mage is yeah. so, doing his ramp So thing. I have four for my turn. One, two, three, four. I also get the first victory point yeah. because I have a plow here. So Paul, uh, please subtract oh. one from 33. I have the first point. Only 32 left to go. All right. So We're on a clock. With God, my, we've been playing for almost an hour and a half. Yeah. That's the first point, by the way. Um, with my purchases, I'm going to buy the podling. That seems mm. good. Um, and then I'm just going to buy a uh, de -de 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 fertile soil, fertile soil which wanna... we're going to buy a top one, please. Mm -hmm. Top soil. So I'm going to put the top soil into this one, so I have a two for one. Oh, okay. Making a, 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 I don't know. It's not modular. A power stone. One yeah. power stone. And then Podlings is going to go with plow, because I like the fact that these two resources are together, so I can buy ley lines. Those mm. Podlings know how to plow. Yep. Th yep, that's... Oh, you put goodbye. it behind the card. <laughs> Interesting. The order does matter, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> There's layers. All right, let's see what my next turn is going to look like. We have a cursed land, and we have a cursed land. Oh, uh, we have a Deadwood Harvester. When it comes into play, I may discard a card that's in play, so I get rid of one of those cursed lands. I have a cursed land. <laughs> And a curse uh, oh land. my god! What? A, <laughs> well, that that's fine. That's fine. Turn. We've gotten we've You're gotten them out. Yeah. yeah, that literally was. My I'm gonna have turn. a bad turn coming up. Like uh, in yes. a couple for sure. All right. We've got a big storm coming. So here's what I know. Oh, I'm sorry. And I'm ah. revealing a cleansing rain. Three cost. One played. Mm. Search your library for any card and discard it. Mm. Right, just to get mm. bad stuff out of your hand. I was about to be like, ah, I'm tomb. I'm gonna stop making magic card <laughs> references. So, that it, that does just like effectively take you down to eight cursed lands instead of nine, right? Yeah, when you draw it. Correct. Yeah. And I, I have one of these. I've never actually played it yet. I bought it in my second pass, and I haven't seen it. It hasn't shown up. Oh. All right, here's what I know. I have cursed lands in my discard is one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. seven, eight, nine. You have a free push? You have a free, free push. push. Watch me get boned somehow. Excellent. <laughs> Great. And it also means whatever you uh, 
by this turn is going to go into your right next in the thing. Into That's the great. Thing. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh -huh. Bear, 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 bear. Yeah, bear, bear, bear sounds really good. Stay away from bear. I want bear. Mm. Bear is claimed. Uh, bear. Ben has claimed bear force one. Nah. And Beach denies. And the nice thing is that uh, if I put it on the cursed land, do it just negates it. Yeah. Just, yeah. That's very counteract. Cool. So cool. I think I will do that. He's not a guardian or anything like that. And replacing it's another bird. Oh, a hawk. All right, so now these go into Hawk. there. Mm -hmm. And that just, all right, now I have to begin the process. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hawkins, get in here. <laughs> and now I have to, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Somebody, somebody tweeted at me about watching the, um, which VOD, the Keyforge VOD, and like, you know how like we do a show and then you just forget everything, yeah. you, all the things that you did and whatnot? Yes. I totally forgot about uh, Fang House oh, <laughs> until <really? laughs> uh, until they tweeted at me. That, and... that was like at least 60% of that stream. Fang House yeah. fucking <laughs> killed me. Oh my god. Yeah. That, that, uh, yeah. Goodbye, yeah. Kurt. Yeah. yeah, we got a lot of mileage out of just it, that Fang House. Yeah, thing. it was yeah. great too, because like the reason Ben and I were just like riffing with it too is like, we had just come off of Command Fest and spent like, you know, an entire weekend and multiple like uh, plane trips together. So we just like knew how to joke with one another. All right, I'm gonna pull the bottom one off. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna flip that one first. Mm -hmm. Sick cursed land you just gave yourself. <laughs> Let's see what it is. Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> it's your big one. Full card. Wow! Holy shit! What does it do? Oh God. Uh, Man, what a what a happenstance again! He, <laughs> uh, the, Brendan Beach Deary does it again. How could that possibly happen? Man. Okay, screw us if I'm we gonna, let him do it I'm going to stop time. doing that. No, no, no! Oh, you got him every time. Okay, now. okay. Dealing okay. from the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you know how it is. All right, does a lot. Uh, let's do that. And there's your second one. There's my second decay. There's my third decay. Okay. You okay. Have two mana, I think. I do have two mana. That's correct. So yeah, just, just by a veil. Yeah. Just to double check, what is on all that uh, that the one that you drew there? Okay, so the hawk. I'm gonna get two victory points for that and uh, one bear symbol. No, that's end of game for hawk. What? Two no. victory points here. Oh, sorry. It's also yeah. there. I get two at the end of the game, but I get two every turn. Yeah. Every time, like when this gets drawn, if I play this. Indeed. So and then I get uh, two bear and a grass, which I can use for whatever might currently be out. Mm -hmm. Which looks like a stream of vigor stream or of vigor. cascading falls. And the, yeah. the bottom one is the one that just made it cheaper to put those on. Yes. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Cool. I uh, pass the turn. Oh, what a good turn for Beach coming up. I'm gonna push. Ooh. Okay. The so blind that, push. The no information push. So that I can do something, hopefully. Yeah. And. Oh. oh. I'm all right with that. You're at three. Do you push again? Do you want to push for that? <clears throat> uh, no, because I'm gonna buy cleansing rain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that we're playing, I get Cleansing Rain more. Because it's actually almost a cheaper bear. A little bit. Sure. Right? Gonna put on or at least not bear. necessarily the bear. I mean, I, I guess Deadwood Harvester is a little bit more accurate to but the bear. But you don't even have to have it, another one drawn, so it's even better. Yeah. yeah. Wayfinder. There could be a point later on, actually. Is Oh, it's a May. The Deadwood Harvester, if it's if your board doesn't isn't bad. Oh, okay. Right, yeah. Mm. It doesn't do anything. Whereas... Right, and it's only when it plays, whereas that growth stays with you until you, yeah. Blank. DD, doing pretty good. Two. Blank. Oh, and that go. one goes there. So you've got four? I would be. Four there. and one bear paw. Nice. I'm terrified about putting more than one decay marking on, on yeah. a card. Yeah. Unless you've got like the seed line. Yeah, yeah right. Which I've very got. Greedy. So I got six. Um, so theoretically, Ben, you've got a seedling out right now. Yeah. And. So you could put one of those. Uh, I could put a hawk on it. You could put one of those hawks on it, and then, and I mean, theoretically, you could put b eventually both hawks on it, and it would only count as one. Yeah. Na decay, right? Yep. Um, I am pretty happy about the fact that this game is not designed to let you f with somebody else either. Yeah, well, yeah. it is very much. That's the thing. You're a cooperative game player. Like that's yeah. your jam. Yeah. yeah. And when anybody, when anybody can reach out and screw you on something. I find that really hard to take because I'm like, I was setting up for a thing. Oh, I can't. The only way you can screw somebody is by taking the card. The buy the thing ahead of time. Yeah. And there are multiples of 
most, most. of those. Well, yeah. it looks like the position changes, but yeah. And that's that's common of many deck building games, which is interesting. I mean, Dominion you can get into curses, which I'm not as fond of. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I, I like it's a part of the game that I find particularly uninteresting. What I find interesting about this is oh, it's me. it's right. not it's strictly deck building or card building. It's not it's not like you build your cards and then use them to play things against other people against other people or anything like that. Like it's literally you are making cards to make so that you can get better cards. So you're gonna buy a wayfinder, or do you change your mind? I'm thinking about it so i kind of want to buy a wayfinder and another fertile soil mm. just to keep loading up yeah so i'm getting to big mana turns every turn it feels like um it's tough though because i recognize too that i'm making big mana but i'm also filling cards and then i get here and yeah I won't have room yeah right? but you can't you can't buy those if you don't get there exactly weird thing. yeah so maybe it makes maybe the way you're doing it makes a little bit of sense, which is fill cards now so that you have a couple cards that are full but more rooms than other ones, as opposed to filling every card a little bit and then yeah. being like, I finally have nine, but no, all my bottoms are taken or something right. like that, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy a wayfinder and I'm gonna buy a top fertile soil. So I have six mana in total. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm gonna put them both on this card. Ah, nice. On a blank. Cool. Yeah. No longer blank. What do we have coming up? We have another Deadwood Harvester. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so I've got a cursed land. Nothing. Hootie. Hey. Now I can discard any other card in my field. Um, yeah. I'm going to discard this. Uh, Keep the good feels going. Cursed land. Oof. Cursed land. All right. So the... Oh, right. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, discarded yeah, yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. There you go. Well, but I still have four, four mana. Four. Um, so I have no interest in only two mana, so I'm going to push. Yep. I also know uh, three of these. Woo! So three out of eight is not that bad, but again, having two, I'd rather have three. Heart of the cards. We're safe. Ooh. So with three, I'm going to buy a Deadwood Harvester. Yeah, they seem pretty good. But I wanted that. I do, uh, I do I like I could put the double Deadwood Harvester, discard two. <laughs> Seems less good, I was going to say, if you pushed again... You could immediately go through your deck and pull out another one of your shitty cards. No, so the thing is, I know that there's three in here. Yeah, yeah. So if I push too hard, then I'm actually going to go through this whole deck and I won't see That's fair. the cards I buy for another turn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so let's see where I end up next turn here. Uh, well, let's reveal this first. It's a grassland, four to buy. While in your field, you have one... Oh, so it's you get one less mana, but it gives you one growth. Oh, interesting. So it basically negates it. So it gets rid of one of... Okay, because it has a growth on it. Weird. Weird card. So yeah. that's if you've got a lot of powerful cards. Mm. That will make it so you don't have to stop. Yeah. Okay, uh, so I'm playing Cleansing Rain. Uh, search your deck for any card and put it into your discard pile. All right, so what do I have wait, here? Wait, doesn't that happen? That happens on your growth when you... It's when it's played. When it's played. Oh, yeah. when it's played. Yeah. Oh, so okay. you can see I have the three, yeah. so I'm going to put that away. And I only have two, which means I'm going to go through my entire deck here. All these cards are going to go into play. You have to shuffle, don't you? Well, you it have doesn't to matter because they're all going to go into oh, play. Because there's only two, I That's can fair. just, like... You know what's coming. Bleh. Like, that That just happens. That's a good blep. <laughs> yeah. Like, I could wow. go one at a time and shuffle, but it's just we just blep it. So yeah. you've got, as it stands, uh, five mana right now and yeah. two curse, or and two decay. Dang. You're, you're really well set. Seems all right. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and the top card is another curse, so I'm going to start next turn with five. Pass. And that's, that's because, of course, the Feral Chieftain gives one horn. Horn. All right, I've got two mana up. Uh, okay, first... <coughs> two victory points. Beach gets two victory points! Well, that's, I, oh, so I'm not pushing. Okay. So I'm passing through planting. We're moving on to harvest. I get two victory points. Woo! All right. Nice. You're in the lead. So I have two mana showing. I'm going to buy a bottom fertile soil yep. to complete this, this card. card. Yeah, nice. so it feels good when I play it. <laughs> and I am going to buy... So we haven't really explained what these do now that we're yeah, buying them. I'm moving into a veil. Yeah, so uh, these veils sit on your side of the field and have some sort of permanent effect. Woo! Um, so, for example, if Beej wanted to, what have you got? You got the Stream of Vigor. Yeah. So Are during you the that? Yeah. so during the harvest phase, Beej will always gain two mana, and 
he may buy a third advancement. That seems absurd. Because currently he can only buy two veils and two advancements. This allows me to buy a third if I have the mana for Yes, it. that's incredible. Yeah, which is good because if I set up with four and I have a lot of blanks, it's like I could actually just be like, oh, I'm just going to so, so buy the, a bunch of that. So now the minimum amount of mana you can have in a turn is four. Yes, because the worst you could do before was two. Yeah, which is mm -hmm. pretty cool. good. Very cool. Um, now, there, there is a, the Blooming Arbor, for example, says if you were to spoil, you may discard this card to gain one, which means it would go back into there, obviously. Yeah. Or, well, it goes into the discard. Yeah, though. but for the most part, it seems like all of these are supposed to have, like, victory points. Passives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I will buy a stream of that Vigor. Makes sense. I, I, I'm going to declare now we are in the mid-game. <laughs> yeah. Sure. The first of the Veils has been bought, and it's a level two, uh, level two Veil. So, uh, so that's the Are you buying anything else? Uh, I have already, already spent my ma mana. Okay. I am spending my um, I'm spending my spirit symbols. Uh, I already got my victory points. Uh, I'm done. Cool. All right. Let us flip that over. What is it? Whoa. Quad sun for six Dang. victory points. At Dang. The end. At the end of the game. Yeah. Boom. Uh, okay. So these are discarded. And let's. Two. There we go. Ah, <laughs> back to OG. Yep, but at least I'll be set up for four. Mm -hmm. You Not can push bad. protect. <laughs> that never burnt you last time. Oof. <laughs> All right, Matt, you're up. Dang. You can do the math while while you wait for your turn yeah, to come back. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> yeah, veils do not go in the deck. They stick around. Two, three, four. I have six curses shown. Mm -hmm. Means I have three more in there. Yep, that's sounds not pretty good that. odds. I don't think that's it's like sixty forty. Yeah. So you have four. I think I'm going to keep trying to mitigate my curses. I have four mana. I'm going to buy that grassland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right. I'm just going to put that, that on one of them. So it's Neat. negative. Or basically a blank card. It's right basically now. a blank card. Uh, and we're revealing a top grassland. Ah. There we are. Hmm. Now to build my field. One, One curse. Uh, uh, uh. Two curse. Look at all that uh, mana. Well, all the spirit symbols too. Spirit symbols. Yeah. And three curse. Four mana, two spirit symbols. Very nice. And I actually know I could have pushed. But I didn't, because I used the information I had with me. All right. Uh, on to Ben. So I've got four. There's one card left in my deck, and it is absolutely a curse land, yeah. uh, unfortunately. But I had two really good turns. I have four mana, and nothing that's worth four actually generates mana. Mm. So this is the first time that I'm going to have to invest in something not mana-related, because I don't think I want to get any more Fertile Soils. I Are you going to get a Kaka? I'm thinking about a Kaka, but Kaka's really honk. <laughs> you could you have to slam it in a blank if you don't want to feel like you're going to get screwed. I think. Yeah. I mean, Hawk, I could put Hawks, the hawk Hawks, with Hootie. Hawks don't. <laughs> yeah. Hawks the, don't honk. I don't think. Yeah. What? How dare you? <laughs> if you not with that if, attitude. If they like go caca. Not. I feel honk. like if you put the hawk with Hootie, let's say that you flip that, mm -hmm. and it's like, oh shit, this is the one I need to get rid of, the one that I just flipped for some mm -hmm. reason. That would be kind of. Well, I don't have feel. any cards that I use to dis yeah. discard things. I, instead, I I got growth. Kind of things. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have this weird growth. Um, <laughs> I you should get that checked. Eh. <laughs> um, Hasn't killed him yet. Just to double check, we're at thirty. Uh, yes. Thirty left. In yeah. Three out of thirty-three points claimed. Yeah, this game. Uh, all right, let's see. I don't want this hawk. The hawk has so many cool things on. Yeah, it. hawk. Hawk will end the game. <laughs> Eventually. Yeah. Um. Fuck it, I'll buy a hawk. Yeah. Ah. I'll put it on this oh. blank card. And this is going to reveal a new card. The Moon Wolf costs four. Woo! Has the skull. Oh, that's everything I want. Yeah, that was everything you wanted. <laughs> uh, It'll come around, or it won't. But either way, there's goodness. probably three of them in the deck. Okay. I mean, spoilers. It looks like there's another one coming up. Yeah. All right, I discard. <clears throat> this sucks. It's a double cursed. <clears throat> uh oh. Yeah. What do you shuffle? Come on, big money. Yeah, I mean, maybe we'll go for a while. Ah, uh, big money, fam. I rip, mean, we do got the bear. Rip dead hawk. Okay. Yeah, you could rip a bear. The hawk would be a terrible rip right now. Yeah, it would stop you. It would. Yeah. yeah. 
Beach, can you use like your magic? Oh yeah, just take one card off the bottom. Come on, Beach, use your magic powers for good. Okay. For good. Take the card off the bottom. Mm -hmm. Thanks, buddy. Put it on top. I believe in you. <laughs> I'm I'm glad. <laughs> and. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> I should buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Beach got me a Lotus. Uh, cool. Cool game. All right. Cool. Uh, all right. And it ends there. Five mana. Oh my god. It would have been a two, but you gave me at least a little bit yeah. of something something. So, you ready for something really excited here? I have access to five energy. Yeah. I have one Feral Chieftain. I'm going to buy a second Feral Chieftain Ugh. and put them together. That doesn't seem right. Yeah. So, it, it's okay. They're a collaborative Chieftain. It's, it's, Why do you keep putting it behind? I don't know. <laughs> it's just like the way the sleeve opens up, whatever. So, this gets one energy for every Skull present times two. So, this is now worth four. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. Seems pretty good. Not bad, eh? Not bad, it, if I do stuff. say so myself. And we're going to reveal the Moon Wolf. <laughs> oh, wow. They're just wolves for days. So I have a Cursed Land, and now... <clears throat> don't mind me. What do I want to make happen here? Something good. Oh, obviously. I gotta make something good happen. And then we have blank. Yeah, but good. So we have a Cursed Land that's also a Deadwood Harvester. So I'm actually going to take this Cursed Land and put it back into my graveyard. Mm -hmm. Cursed land, a plow, and a podling. <clears throat> Not bad. And then the top card is yeah. a double fertile soil. Top <gasps> card is a deadwood harvester, which is going to get rid of this cursed land. The engine has come online! Yeah. Stormed off. All right. Second cursed land, third cursed land off the top. So next round we'll have one, two, three, four, five, and a victory point. Pass. So, you have Storm two is mana. eight. Yeah. <laughs> Once this turn, if you were to display, you may discard your own deck card instead. So, how bad do you want two versus three, I suppose, is the question. Well, right now I have four. Which means oh I, my can, God. I can buy a thing. How bad do you want four versus five? Right? I mean, you can five, put a Moon Wolf on one of your cursed lands. Like, five means nothing, right? No, like currently it, it does not. It has no use to me whatsoever. Yeah, there's always a strategy of do you save that for next turn? Yeah, right? and I feel like I'd, uh, the best thing to do is to save for next turn. Um, so then the second question is, do we, do, so like a do grassland I the, negates I, one of those, which is kind of cool. Hooding a hawk <laughs> is a terrible idea. Yeah. Two decay up. Yeah. That's always going to screw Unless you me. find a seedling in here, another seedling in here. Yeah. But, or yeah. throw, throw the grassland on with that kind of thing. Right? Yeah. And then it makes it basically a blank card. Yeah. Like but a then completely I, blank then, card. And then I lose the thing. So it's like, eh, eh well, I lose it, that one. It would yeah. negate, a, it would negate, yeah, it would make that the same as a blank card, but with no spots on it. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> At least with one of these, I'm generating mm, something else. If that's yeah. a strat, if that's a wind con you want to go no, for. No, you know what? I'm going to burn all four. I'm going to buy this moon wolf. Sure. And we're going to play that up. Uh, it is a Hulking Thornhide. We haven't seen this before. Cost five. Gives you three win con victory condition points oh, every goodness. time you reveal it. It's worth one. It has a decay and it has a sunburst on it. Ooh. Ooh. So That's it's like, a lot. It's like the super hawk. Yeah. Mm. Alright, it's all like, ha ha let's, <laughs> let's build, let's prep. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh, well, you have you have burn protection in. next turn. He's, so. got, mm. he's got push protection. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you're burning yeah. through all Super of your curse right now. Super hawk. <laughs> <laughs> As a chat special. Oh my god. Six. Okay. That's fair. I have four mana. Yeah. You I go a woo <laughs> and get a moon wolf. Mm. Woo woo. Who? What's mm. this? Yeah. Damn it, moon moon. Wolf. Uh, and then it's another hulking Damn it, Matt. thorn thingy, but it's Oh my god, What's I hope wrong? your birthday is the worst. No. <laughs> wow. What's you wrong then? You can buy your own thorn hide. I wanted the moon wolf. I don't want, I want mana. Well, you can blame Beach too. You can't blame the birthday boy. It's all Beach's fault. Oh, Beach bought both. I also have a confusion mana symbol, spirit symbol, yep. and a wolf paw spirit symbol. Which means? I'm getting that cascading falls. Ooh, yeah. what does that do? Uh, on harvest, I gain one uh, sunburst spirit. Cool. Uh, good symbol. So okay. every turn I have one sunburst. One floating sunburst, yeah. Working towards that shimmering brook. So, mm -hmm. uh, discard. Or cold light. Replenish. Oh, replenish. You have to give us a new thing. What is it? 
The world tree. World tree. Oh. Worth two victory points, end of list. <gasps> That's right. weirdly cheap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, the world tree. There's lots of those around. I'm at two curse and three mana right now, and a swirly symbol. Hmm. I can see if you weren't streaming why you're building on other people's turns. Yeah, well, yeah. Just to like speed the whole game up. Yeah, because you still have time. If it's with four people, you can actually be watching what yeah. they're doing. And that's yeah. my final curse three there. next turn. Three mana, yeah. All right, turn goes to Ben. Huh. Sorry I took your uh, spirit wolf. Well, it's tough now because I'm just sort of left with, I have only spots on these decaying ones, so I can't grab any of the... I don't want to grab any of the mm-hmm. ones there. Um, I don't think I want to put soil on these either. I'm running out of space. So it's like, I guess I could grab a wellspring. It would at least let you start generating um, that, or you just buy yeah. fertiles. Right? Hmm. Hmm. Well, God, there's no point. I don't think pushing is correct because I would be at six. It's a totally blind one. Yeah, a six yeah. giving an advantage. Not really. Um, <laughs> hmm. I guess I could just put a wellspring on one of these. It makes it not as painful to grab. Yeah. Um, God, do I wanna? Now, do ya? Do ya? Do ya wanna? You wanna know? Hmm. All right, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna grab a wall spring. Top wall spring. Nice. Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, podling. Nice. Uh, that changes everything. <laughs> Not really, actually. Ooh, middle podling. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> do you have enough materials to buy any of those special cards? You get the world tree basically for free. Well, I, it, I don't get it right now. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, right, right, right. Yeah. I just, sorry, I, I shouldn't have actually put this in yet. Um, I could also just put a fertile soil on it. I'm starting to run out of. Oh, because you only spent four of six? Yeah. Okay. No, right, I've only got five. Yes, oh, I only have five. Right. Never mind. Uh, cool. Yeah, I do that. DM, I do that. Um, <laughs> and uh, go to the setup. So I got a curse land. Do it. I got a curse uh-uh, land. No. More, 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 more. Fill the flowers. There you go. Hootie, discard a card in your field. There you go. Okay. Bear totem. Oh my god. Here, Here we go. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Fertile soil. Yeah. Cursed land, so I'm only at one, one. right yeah. now because of the bear. Seedling. Two. Mm. All wow. right, so I'm at one, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Oh, look at that. All right, looks like somebody's going to get the stag. <laughs> the majestic stag. I'm going stag. <laughs> so I have five. Um, I'm going to buy this hulking thorn hide. Um, it's going to eventually go here, and then I have a sun and a green, so I'm going to purchase a leyline nexus. Cool. And that's just worth two at the end of the game. It's worth two at the end of the game, so I'm going to slide this into here. So uh, leyline nexus doesn't do anything by itself? No. Yeah, it will be win cons at the end of the game. And what do we replenish it with? A radiant pinnacle on harvest, get a greenie, pretty mm-hmm. decent. And we're going to replenish the middle here. It's a top bear. Ooh, top top bear. bear. Very interesting. And top, then I'm going top to bear. <laughs> and I'm going to reveal cursed land, cursed land, blank, blank. Uh, Ooh. Stones. Ooh, fa. Yeah, that's a tough one. Mm-hmm. And uh, pass to beige. Keep it. Keep in mind that you should definitely not put those in your deck, obviously yet, because you can pull all. You, if you build something, you can put it. You'll be able to put it in your discard. Well, he's not... Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know if you were shuffling that to put him underneath yet. Go ahead. Okay. Sorry. No, uh, that's a that's actually a very good point. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Shouldn't ever, yeah, shuffle your graveyard. Or yeah, until you until. need to. It's yeah. just, it's such like a time sure. drag. 
so if you I got can your, the turn, but God, yeah. This seems so stupid. Got your push protection there. Yeah. yeah. What is the possibilities of it being? Yeah. Twice? Did you did you do the math between? Uh -huh. What's uh, so question? What's three gonna do for you? Uh, four, two, three, four. Right. So it'd be five. Uh, five. Do two of those or, five. or one of these, or a thing. Yeah, I Both could buy Podling if I wanted to. So did you did you do the math while you were waiting as to what it is? It's because I have one, two, three, four, five, six out, and so odds are good. The, the odds, odds are, are pushing good. are actually very good. Yeah. If you want five, how bad do you want five? For five, I get uh, literally that that dude, and he, it, but the thing is, is that then that has to go into a cursed land. Yep. Yeah. Which means that then I have a cursed land that has two on it, and it's yeah. just like. Why do that to myself? Why why give myself a chance to basically be like, no, you completely spoil. It's that that's what but that's really bugging me. Don't you want to live life dangerously? No. Have excitedly? you met Beach? <laughs> Beach is the safest person I know. Uh, yeah. You know, like uh, if you look up risk adverse, it's just a photo of Beach. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's more like Yeah. No, no! <laughs> You'll steal my soul. Yeah. Um, Why am I even in this book? There, I can't. I there, is a, there is yeah. a picture because you look at, it wouldn't be a picture. Yeah, because Beach would be afraid of the risk yeah. of being shown in that photo. The, <laughs> the weird thing is, is, it's like I can't buy this. Mm -hmm. There's no point. Also, because it, it's full, it doesn't go anywhere. I can't buy that. Yeah. So my choices are these two, or th or like this and a podling. Podling at least generates that. Yeah. So I feel like buying that for now. Okay. Right. But that's what I wanted. Are you going to spend the other two? And I think I'm definitely going to spend the other two because I got it. And I'm going to, I got to buy a top. All right. And I will put that in here. All right. Okay. Next up, we have a a top flower. Cost three to buy. Worn Power Stone. That's so yep. good. Flowers are good. All right. So let's prep. Ben Ulmer, 2020. Flowers, flowers are, are good. Flowers are good, guys. Yeah. There's my two. Yeah. Oh no, it negates itself because yeah, the bear. So you're still at one. All oh, right, he has a he has a, yeah exactly. So I'm still at one. Those controversial opinions coming out pro flower. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, two, two. Yeah, one. because that one's counteracted. Oh my god, he's popping off. There we go. All right, okay. so you got four, well, five mana. And got lots right. of places. Five, six, seven. Got right. lots of places to put stuff now. Anyway. Yeah. So many choices with seven mana, which is good. Uh, play passes to Matt. Oh, what do I want to do? Okay. You've added my entire long term to think about. It. I have options. Yeah, make is it, the thing. Make it happen. I'm going to live life on the edge the way Beach doesn't. Mm -hmm. Push. push. <laughs> All right. And the really? top card is the blind push. <gasps> spoiled. You've spoiled. All right. You don't have any of uh, the redraw cards, eh? No. So, None here. prep for next turn. Get All your right. extra mana. I got my mana. Mm. But hey, I have a... When played, search your deck for any card and you may put it onto your discard pile. Good start. Well, that's one nasty one. Here, I'll go for this plain nasty. Mm. And now I need to shuffle. Hmm. All right. Ben, ben looking for ways to spend his extensive wealth. Ooh, that's funny. When played, you may discard any other card from your field. There. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Uh oh. oh okay. All right. And there we are. So you'll have so, four next turn. Four mana, one bear paw, and technically one uh, flower yeah. plus my one mana there. So. Not bad. Ben. You got ten. I'm at nine. You're at nine. So yeah, I'm between. So I'm not gonna push mm. because I looked and there's a there's two more curse lands and the hawk. Right. In yeah. In here. Yeah. And there's only like math has changed yeah. now. So you gotta yeah. There's ten <laughs> stops. Uh, now I could. I'm probably gonna end up making that eleven stops now. Um, but I'm stuck between the stag and the magic seed. The stag is just points. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The magic seed gives you plus, you get one mana for each other card that's in your field. Yeah. Like being able to buy more advancements 
because it's just like if I have if you have a long run and you pull that out, yeah, that feels pretty good. Like this currently would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So that right? seems like, well, that seems really good if you had what Beach has. Let's you get three buys. There's yeah. a certain point where you ramp into nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now both of those will add curses though, eh? What decays? Yeah. Decays. Yeah. yeah. What's the what's the the first the first one on level three? That's uh, Aurora. It costs ten though. Yeah. But harvest is you gain one victory point for every two cards in your field. So yeah. that kind of counts on you being able... Well, you'll at least have two yeah. out. So I kind of want... So the interesting thing is, if I grab Stag, I could put it on the bear and just counteracts itself. Yeah. Not, not bad. Or do I just want to ramp? I like mana so much. <laughs> There's one thing I know about Ben, is he just loves mana. I like, I like playing big. Like, that's why, I, like, big red is... Ugh. Oh, man. What would you do? You know what's better than Big Red? I would take the stag. You take the stag? I would take the stag. It's just it straight the up points? Yeah. I, 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 I mean, I don't know. I don't play this game enough. Yeah. But I think this it's feels... It's our first time, in fact. It feels like the, the magic seed almost feels win more. Mm. Um, I'd just take the stag for a surefire way to start ending the game. Because I think we are now approaching the end game. Hmm. I mean, it feels weird when you go to thirty points and when you have like one and two points. But yes, it's gonna it's gonna accelerate. But I have a card yeah. in my deck that gives me four victory points every time it comes by. Like I think it's it's sort of that point in Dominion too. The first person to buy one of the victory points sort mm -hmm. of signals the beginning of the end game, and then yeah. everybody starts. Like there's a certain point of the game where you ramp, and a certain point where you need to transition, mm -hmm. and you have to ask yourself: by the time you get back to the seed, yeah, I'm always slow to. Right. Ramp into the uh, victory acquisition. What do I put it on a blank card? No, I think it just this being a, a card on just for safety. Yeah. Yeah. With the bear, it just means like the bear this lets is... you draw another card, but it's the same thing as having the bear and something else. Yeah. Right? All right, I'll put by the bear. So I spent all nine of mine. <laughs> pop this all back in here, and we replace it with this life bloom orchids, which is worth eight. Gives two victory points and is worth a free. It's a free swirl. Like that's incredible. Oh, that yes. that I just buy. Yeah. Um, I have two. Uh, we're still. I'm sorry. Yeah. Right, 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 right. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's this is normally yeah, yeah how it would go is like your friends can just go after you're done doing the buy thing. Uh, Ooh, two and cursed land. All okay. right, you have two mana. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Big turn fall by. Let's see the plan. I have two. <laughs> yep. So did it. I think we're at the point probably where we can just start. Uh, I yeah. think we're pretty close. Well, maybe I think mine's a little bit trickier because there's more fun to the to yeah. the viewers to actually see what's happening when I we start so. doing all sorts of wild stuff. Right. So you've got a cursed land. Yeah. Let's see, because my deck does all sorts of really weird things. Yeah. Oh Jesus. What's up? I'm just doing my count. One, right. two. Three, Reveal the top here. Fertile four. soil. Fertile soil. Cursed land, come on, get rid of it. Come on, get rid of it. I want to keep comboing off. I want to be the very best, like no one ever... Okay. okay, so Oh, stop. that stops at top. So that's, that's going to be... a big card, though. So next turn, I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five. And then the turn after that, I'm going to get four victory points and a bunch of stuff. So Neat. that's that's my that's my haymaker. That's my butter bean. I, I pass. His, okay. his what? butter bean. You know, like the boxer. He just walks up and he just kind of like hits you and falls over bean. and you die. I push. Yeah. Ooh! All right, Bean okay. just pushing. I mean, he's done the math, so I believe in him. You did it. You All successfully right. pushed. So you got six mana now. Do you want to continue you pushing? You mana now. You have eight. You could get the Life Bloom Orchid. I push. Woo! Blank. How far will he go? So what's that guy do that you just drew? That that's the one that you get one for every uh for every uh shield on the card. So that's worth one mana and a and a bright. And a, and yeah. a yellow. So that's So what's one, influence your two, math right three, now? Four. The fact that all nine of my cursed lands are accounted for, uh and my hawk is also accounted oh, for. Oh, so that's just free. So yeah. so I could push again. Or you could set up the next turn after that. Yeah, I'm kinda just waiting because if I if I do this, then whatever's in here flips because it makes no sense for me to do that and then pull that together yeah like if you don't need if you yeah. can't spend the one extra so it kind of makes sense to just leave that as such um yeah i didn't want to tell anybody because that'd be more exciting for the audience sure no, yeah. i already figured it all out <laughs> hell yeah uh so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine Woo! 
And you've got uh, a sun and a bear claw? Yes, I have a starburst and a bear claw. So from nine mana, I can Which buy a five and a four. That, I think. No. Yeah? Or an eight? Or I can buy that lifeblood orchid. Did you get another bear? Yeah, I could. <laughs> There's so much you could do. The bear feels like a good move to kind of counteract these cursed lands. And you can buy three things. Well, I mean, I guess I guess it asks the same question that Ben did: Is are you still ramping and building Two, your deck, three, or are you going to transition four, into five, victory six, points at this seven, point? Eight. Mm -hmm. I only have eight. I can't buy both of those, and I don't have any of the other special things out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Or I could. Oh, that could be interesting too. Um, I buy a field of flowers. Okay, so you have six remaining. Yeah. Two more buys. I cannot pick it up. I'm useless. <sighs> Thank you. And I think I'm going to put that on... You do that after. Well, I have to do this after, so that's fine. Eight, was it, that I said? You had nine. I had nine. So you have six remaining. Nine. Ow. You did that to yourself. I know. I didn't expect it to hurt, though. What I'm, you thinking, Beach? I'm gonna buy. Uh, Make your own lotus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it sounds good, doesn't it? You can just buy two more of those and then waste some money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what are what are your choices between? My choices are: I was thinking like I buy this, I buy a hawk, I buy one of these because I can buy three advancements because of that. Um. And the hawk then also helps me generate other things. Like victory points? Yeah. And, and then what's the other Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm okay. going to buy this yeah. hawk. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to buy this hawk. And I'm going to buy a... <clears throat> excuse me. The hawk's got the uh, helmet on it, right? Yeah. And I'm going to buy... Uh, can you buy three? I'm yeah, allowed to. Can, okay. Okay. Three yeah. Yeah. The stream of Vigor lets me buy thir three advancements. You have so many slots to fill. I do. I'm going to buy this top one. So that's uh, three, seven, nine. We said I had nine? Yeah. Right? Okay. Um, and then I'm going to spend my starburst of my thing if I can. I cannot. Not quite, no. unfortunately. Yeah, I do not have enough. I don't uh, think there's anything that needs There's us. nothing for that. Nope. Okay. I like as well. Then I'm done doing that. I'm done the harvest thing. Now I have to put things together. The hawk goes on here. Yeah, because the skull with the or the helmet with the helmet synergy. Yep. So that'll give you two now. Next time you play. Yeah, it when I when I when I the next time I play it, it will. That'll give you two plus victory points and yeah. other stuff. Cool. Cool. And I will put two up on there, and then I will put uh, fertile soil. On. Oh, you know what? I'll just put this one on here. Why? Nice. Sounds like fun. So we've got the Earth Chant Chorus, which is worth two. Harvest, other advancements added to this. Oh, two same less. thing, the Ooh. beach card. Uh, and then we've also got another Hulking Thornhide, a bottom. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. And uh, plant your field, or prepare your next phase. Retire Whoa! champion, no. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Ah, okay. Oh, dear. All right. All right. I mean, it's a good start. It's a very good start. This mm -hmm. could be a hell of a thing. Mm-hmm. Now I have to pull off the bottom because <laughs> I've just been I've been showing off this entire time. <laughs> Let's see it, Beach. Let's see it. If this, I mean, you already did the third time. You gave me a look. Oh, I did, didn't I? So yeah. whatever this is, even if it fails, you've already done the magic trick. That's yeah. fair. Yeah, I've already I've already shown. Wait, off. is that how it works? One time you're lucky, two times you're god, three times it's the magic. Well, trick. that's it. Four the, times you're cheating. It's, like it's the secret of streaming. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> right. Which is you set something up, and if it fails, then whatever. But if it pops off, oh yeah, it's amazing. Meant to do it every yeah. time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's okay. the secret of being a streamer. All right, yeah. off the bottom. Yeah. Okay. All right. On the top. Blank. Blank. See. All right. Yeah, that, that magic's gone. Yeah. Magic's gone. All right. Three times is all you get. Okay. I've got one. Okay. Okay. What is it? Got... the other? Card push protection. Here? Oh, push protection. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I've got two. Yep. These cards are getting real complicated. Yeah. Nothing. That was not complicated Nothing. at all. 
That's three. that's the third. So she just. Oh, so wait, wait. Oh, because it, it counteracts. Oh, yeah, that one keeps going, I guess. It what? does. Because you're real the top yes. card. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, keep counteracts. Going. Okay, so that's fine. There we okay. go. All right. All right. All right, you got a bunch of things. I do have so much stuff. All right, uh, go. All right, I have three shown curses here, and I have one, two, three, four, five. Shown There's only here. one left in the deck, unless you bought some other ones. <laughs> oh, There's one so feel, in my deep deck. So you feel pretty good about pushing. Did yeah. you buy a hawk? Uh, or anything else? No. With a, okay. I'm All right, let's push. see it, Matt. Even though I have a mana yep. up, I'm going to push. Wow. 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 All right. <laughs> how, how far are you going to go? Did you get the magic you wanted? That's Ooh. as far as I'm going. <laughs> so you're up to six? I'm up to one, two, three, four, five, six mana. Yep. Nice. I'm going to buy this bear. Bear, 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 bear. Bear seems good. I'm going to counteract this cursed land. And now it generates a tree that is not yet applied because I have to spend oh, right. my spirit points. I have oh, look at that. a random, mm -hmm. a bear claw, and a light, and that allows me to get the pool of lights. Ooh, Ooh. Which gives you a random one. Which gives me a random, and that's it. End of list. Nice. That's pretty good. Uh, revealing, replacing the middle one, we have another plow. So this is every time you play, you get an energy and a victory condition and a oh. greenie. You got one of those right away. Yeah. yeah. That was, that was, that was my second turn because uh, right, yeah. I, I pushed and failed. What's our new veil? A pool it's the same of light. thing. Nice. Cool. Okay. 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 All right. Set up. <laughs> okay. Just blanks, blanks. One mana blanks. up. Wow. It certainly feels wow. good. What the hell? I've wow. done nothing. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> there it is. All right. Playing for fuck all. All right. Wait. <laughs> moon, moon. <laughs> so, uh,. <laughs> The, I've done uh, nothing, apparently. The veil you just picked up, that um, uh, that gives you one wild... One wild card. That's per, super one good. One wild uh, mana per... Or yep. w whatever. Yep. Spirit. Spirit. Uh, token thing. Okay, let's combine these a bit. That's two. Yep. And three. No, 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 you have, uh, you have a... Oh no, that counters. Yeah, they, keep they, going. They both do. Oh, they both do. Yeah, keep going. Oh, You're up Jesus. one now. One, two. Okay. And that's my third one. Oofa. Okay. All right, you're going to have a big bad. turn next turn. Well, Ooh. you have a lot of cards, but actually not as much. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so there's an interesting stuff. thing. With the magic seed, it's almost worth it to like... For for max <laughs> deck? Absolutely. It would actually be pretty tight. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like, does it does it add to your build? That's always the fascinating question in deck building games. Mm -hmm. Right. You know? So in, in that circumstance, it's work. It's in your favor to have like heavy duty... like Cancellation. Yeah. Yeah. More cards that are heavier. So if you play this a lot, it's going to be weird. What are the cards that are just good, just regardless? Like, yeah. in a vacuum, this card is just great that everybody takes. And what are cards that are synergy cards? Yeah. And, yeah. you yeah. know, if you jump into this a lot, it'd be interesting to learn where like, that is. Like, Bear Totem or Grassland, like, just because of the growth actually feels really nice. Because it's like, I did not get slowed down by that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got <sighs> two. And you're contemplating pushing, and you've done the math, and it's worth it or not worth it. So there's two. So if you push, you don't get your victory points. I know. Yeah, so there's two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven. Uh, so I've got seven, and there's three cards originally. So there's no, two no, left. No, 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 no. Don't push. <laughs> it's like, take a turn off. 66 for ch chance to fail. Maybe buy a fertile soil. I could buy the enchantment, the earth chant chorus. Oh, yeah. And it'd be worth. It'd give me one on one of these cards cheaper. Um, which seems kind of interesting. I mean, it means that you could pick up plow for cheap later, if you were to. Yeah. I don't need to explain to you how to play the game. I realize that. No, no, no I, I <laughs> you grab yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I'll spend my two. I'll grab this earth chant chorus. So you get I'm, you get two victory points though. Hmm. So, Paul, you yeah. want to give Ben two victory points and subtract... Huzzah, he's on the board. Subtract two from the overall pool. We're at 28. Uh, and replacing yep. it is this Peacekeeper Druid. That's the, the push protection. Yeah. yeah I got him here right. I forgot right, I about that. I got a Cursed Land. Yep. So it's ah, I would have been good. Well, oh, well. Maybe. Fertile Soil, yep. which is likely then, yeah, this is going to be a Cursed Land, which means this is... 
Oh. Ooh. I miscounted. Well, I mean, whatever. Uh, so I get to keep going. Yeah. Yes. Shuffle up. Shuffle up. Shuffle up, Buttercup. I <laughs> knuckle <Chocolate> up. <laughs> I might have missed it. Right. All right. Same. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Cool. All right. <laughs> yeah. It's just off yes. Yeah, so All right. Fine. Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, curse line. All right. Uh, I have five. I'm going to buy a Wellspring. I'm going to put it on this empty card. I'm wasting one energy. I don't care. Uh, this is going to go into my graveyard. I mean, I personally love wasting energy. Reveal the top card. Ooh, it's a new one. This is the Calm Weather. It costs seven? Whoa. Why is this in the one pile? It shouldn't be. It should be in the three pile. That should absolutely be in the three pile. It looks like it got mixed up. To make this, to make this a little easier. put this on the bottom of the three pile. Or just like uh, in the middle somewhere. So you can see by the chain on it what... Where it's supposed yes, to go. Yes, it should. It literally, that's oh, okay, what we're okay, saying. Okay, yeah. 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 This is also a third pile one, so pop that in there. I think maybe when we were shuffling. Okay, this is fine. It's a cleansing rain. Okay. Mm. All right, uh, my next turn, rain. I've got this super card of mine. That's the Podling, the Hulking Thornhide, and the Plow. I'm going to get some victory points next turn. Uh, Curse Land, so that's two. Ooh, I got my Double Feral Chieftain. So that's uh, my money card, another one of my big cards. If I could get a helmet in the middle, uh, that's my goal for you to buy things until we're there. Final Curse Land at the top. And uh, Beej, it is your move. What you got? Uh, you got that good stuff. I got, okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Not enough to get me up to here. I want the words. Are you going to push or not? Because if not, we can give you yeah. victory points. I'm not going to push. Okay. Okay, so let's move into, do we want to count the victory points first then? Yep, so okay. Beach will get two. Two additional victory points. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> I feel like a cleansing rain. So we are beaches at four. We have twenty six left. Yeah. So you've got how much mana? Four. Yeah. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Right. That's yeah. That fucking rad card. <laughs> it's very good. Mm hmm. I feel like I I'm either grabbing something for four, which doesn't make any sense. Um, I have, oh, by the way, there's a bunch of blank cards under here. I just moved them over sure. so I could actually look at I mean, what, that's, I, that's fair. what I was using. I, could probably do that I just want to be clear about what's happening here. Um, I think I'd buy this boy. Nice. The victory condition race. It's yeah. on. Can we just put that in a... I think there's a certain point later on, too, where you don't even care if you don't draw through your whole deck if you get a couple of victory points. Yeah. Because, like... With 33 shared between everyone, it doesn't take much. Mm -hmm. What is it, nine mm -hmm. points if everyone else gets a couple and you're and you're pretty far ahead? Yeah. So, like, Beej is maybe a turn or two from being that far enough ahead there. that if other people are fighting for it evenly, you can't catch. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I have one, two, three Bear Claw, and I have two Grass Spirit Symbols. Three Bear and two Grass? Yeah. So you buy a World Tree. Yeah. yeah. And once I do that, I can't buy anything else. Because we have to wait till I'm done buying mm -hmm. before we can flip the next card. So yeah. that is correct, right? Yeah. Yep. So I do that. So what does a world tree do? It's just it worth two victory two points. Victory points. Oh. Uh, yeah. So that's Are you done doing that. a capitalism? I am done doing capitalism. Let's let's. Uh, Here, you can do that part, yeah. and I'll do this part too. Ooh, you have a Whoa. sunstone airy. Why am I reading this? Yeah, <laughs> harvest. This is, goes for a bear claw and a uh, and a sunburst. When you harvest once per turn, you may spend two mana to use any bear claw or cool. basically, uh, mm. you can use a bear claw, a grass, or a sunburst as a random. Oh, it's like a market that lets you yeah, switch. Yeah, you get to you swap one it. out, but you have to pay two mana to do it. And this is the new card. This is a six cost Grove Tender. It's a middle thing. Ongoing Grove Tender has um, whatever the growth. green growth for every uh, helmet you have. Wow. If I could put that on my Feral Chieftain, that would be absurd. It'd be unstoppable. Oh my god, that's what I want. Well, it would be stoppable. So somebody yeah. could, if they have six, buy it, just to spite me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so I've... Ben's I've, thinking about it. Look at the smile got, on his got face. Got out of here. He's like, uh, okay, it's I'm not a good card for me, It's but... like, I can't let you have it. You're like, or oh, whatever. I will... God, that would go good right here. Right? <laughs> yep. See if it gets back to you. Uh, I probably won't. Uh, let's begin this process, yep. then. One. Two, 
three. All right. Oh, wow. Yeah, pretty short run, but that's okay. Matt, you're uh, up. Yeah, you're up. Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. I'm going to buy this magic seed. Ooh. Seems good in your deck. What does it do? Uh, on harvest, gain one mana for each other card in your field. It is one curse, two victory points, two at the end. I'm going to put it on with Moon Moon. So moon that moon. gives you at least two mana. Or and each other. Yeah, so it gives you at least two mana. At least two. Um, I also have a tree spirit, a light spirit, and a purple spirit. Hmm. And a couple of bear claws too, right? Uh, and a couple of... One bear claw. Where's the two tree? Or oh, sorry. Misread That's it. That's growth, yeah. Two bear claws, a purple and a yellow spirit. I'm going to get another pool of light. <laughs> yeah? He's just going to start making whatever he wants. Uh... Yeah. Now, this magic seed is applied to Moon Moon. Seems good. And I will clear my field and do a new. All right, I'll replenish while you do that. We have Bear, 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 the Blessed Savannah for six victory points. Ooh. Oh, Bear, 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 It's like the Shimmering Brook. And then an, our new level three advancement is a Calm Weather. <laughs> it's uh, cost you seven. You, you will end up getting a victory point at the end. It gives you growth. It gives you grassland, and when played, look at your next on deck card. You may discard it. Oh my god! Wow, it's mm. pretty good. Is that, is, that, is that scry? No, because scry doesn't let you throw something away. Surveil. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's you put it to the bottom of your. Look at Beach. Yeah. Very proud of you. Play a lot of puzzle quests. Yeah, and I. <laughs> my field is tiny this time. Two oh, cards. you only have two next time. Yeah. Yikes! Yeah, but you can still buy basically anything from that. So we see what Matt's engine is. All interesting the different ways the decks have gone. Mm -hmm. hmm. What you got, Ben? You have five? Yeah, this isn't a very good hand right now. Um, oh, shuck. Call Mr. Right. Plow. <laughs> <laughs> That's his name. That name again is Mr. Plow. Um, what if you had a card that was only three plows? I, that's pretty that good. Seemed, that'd be, that's like a better Lotus. <laughs> that's like add three mana, three forest, and three victory points. Dees. Yep. Dees. Yeah, I mean, there's no, I don't think. Blacker Lotus. <laughs> the the black bigger, blacker Lotus. <laughs> a Lotus as dark as the sun. <laughs> yeah, I'll just buy a pile, I guess. Nice. That seems all right. Um, yeah, I'm going to put it on this. Cursed land. Oh, no. May I reveal? Yeah. We're revealing another Grove Tender. This is a six, uh, this is a top Grove Tender. We're going to get clobberized by Search coming up here. Mm. Well, it has to get through the deck. Yeah. Right? Uh, mm -hmm. All right. Them Grove Tenders. One. Uh, uh, uh. Seedling. I'm glad I didn't. Wait, that was what was on top. Yeah. Hawk. Lotus. Ooh. Lotus. I mean, feels good. Feels good, eh? First land. The field is good. Yeah. All right. My turn. I will not be pushing. Paul, please give me four victory points, putting me up to five in total and bringing the total pool down to 22. I don't mm -hmm. like that. Uh, then in addition to that, I have one, two, three, four, five, six monies that I can buy. I'm absolutely <laughs> buying the middle Grove Tender, which is going to combo here. Oh my here. god, that card's gross. So this card is going to be worth four energy and it's going to be worth two growth for counter and out decay. So that's, that's going to be good. very strong for the deck. Then I also have access to one, two, three, four suns <laughs> and a green. Uh, oh, you know what you do. What? Yeah, I think I just bought the Shimmering Brook for six to. victory points. Yeah. Six victory points. So we're going to grab that. I'm going to slide the Grode Tender into the Feral yeah. Chieftain. Throw this into discard. And then I'm going to build, or I'm going to, pardon me, prep for the next turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Tile soil. Two. Come on. Oh. oh. Well, I will have four next turn and pass. Still interesting how even at this point of the game, we can have so many cards in our deck that don't do much. Yeah. We still have to put these back out. What have we got here? Oh, look at that. It's a middle hoodie. Middle oh, hoodie. Hoodie. Middle hoodie. And we have the Conclave of Ents. Please read someone. Once, Once, can see it. Sorry, you got it. Once per turn, choose a card in your field or on deck. That card gains the skull thing until your turn or the helmet thing? It's so good for my deck. That's pretty good. Get in my deck. Oh. I pass. Okay. <laughs> um, 
I don't know if I'm doing powerful Three. nothing or not. I, 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 yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea how to... How to evaluate where no. things are. Because yeah. Matt, Matt is just like dominating this mm -hmm. right now, yeah. which is remarkable. Ooh, weird. But I was otherwise slow. Like I did not buy any fertile soils, so I haven't been able to buy... I, I haven't been able to generate the gigantic mana turns that I thought I was going to be able to. Which is well, I mean, you're the only person who's gotten to nine. True. I got to eight, but that was like my one oh, half mm -hmm. of my deck. I think I don't. The thing, the most I've ever generated is six. Yeah. And the other thing is not just how many big mana turns have you had, how few two mana turns have you had is the other thing to look at. I guess at. that's true. Yeah. Okay. I'm spending my four on fertile soil. Fertile soils, and I'm going to make my own lotus. We're out of top fertile soils. All right. I literally have not bought a single one of those. I mean, I'm not supposed okay. to do that yet, obviously, but I've bought those two, and I'm going to spend my Sunburst and Bear Claw on the Sunstone Airy. Oh, you should also have gotten two victory points at the very beginning? Oh, that's right, yes. My Hawk is there, too. Two so... for Beach, Pa. I have zero right now. Ooh. I don't know why I'm shouting it at you like you're like down in like some engineering, like... Yeah. Make sure... <laughs> make sure hey, Paul... hey! Like, like you're up on like, the engineering room, like, Hey, Paul, look, more steam! <laughs> <laughs> You missed the smoke cue! So I've done that. Let's see what we got here. It is the another Blooming Arbor. If you were to spoil and discard this to gain one growth. Okay. Uh, so this goes into here. Mm -hmm. And let's prep. One. Ah, ah, ah. Two. Ah, ah, ah. Stand. Yeah, we have I mean, six you for still get six, though. Wow. Eight, eight. Actually. Eight. 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 See, oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. God. Dang. And there's nothing up there <laughs> that I can pull. It's nothing, oh, nothing no goes in the to top. It's the only spot I yeah. have. Right, right. Uh, we see the first person getting punished for having too many full things. You yeah. can get yourself a hulking friend. That's something. It probably will go in that direction, I think. Oh, hell. What's what? your turn? You have two. And I, you, I mean, it looks like you're going to be shopping in here, and that's about it. I, I'm going to get that Peacekeeper Druid for two. What does it do? Uh, it gives me a green spirit thing, which is the main reason why I'm buying it. Also, once this turn, if you were to spoil, you may discard your on-deck card instead. Mm. I have four mystery spirit tokens <laughs> to play with, and, and a then sunburst. a sunburst as well. So you can buy... You can buy anything. Anything. I'm gonna buy this ancient uh, life roots. I gain one permanent growth. Oh, so oh my god. That seems real good. Wow. Okay. So basically you can have four things. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Do you have and there's nothing else to spend like you you've used up all of your I've used up okay. everything. I, I have one sunburst spirit token left, but let me reveal the top here. Uh, it's another conclave of Ents, the one that synergizes well with uh, helmet people. And a Ooh. seedling, which is the one that cancels out one decay on a card. Mm. Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, Beach, with your card that converts mana into... Oh, yeah! Does the that... Combos. Yeah, I may spend it to use any of the... No, I can only use it to... I have to spend two mana to convert uh, a, a, a spirit symbol into a random symbol. Into a different I don't symbol. just get it for free. Oh, I have to convert. Uh, they don't combo yeah. with themselves. Okay, oh, okay. that's interesting. So, so you can't just spend a bunch of mana and get a bunch of spirit symbols. You Correct. Have, it's all... Yeah. You have to already have spirit symbols. Okay, yeah. that's a yeah. good point. That one would be good for me if I didn't already have two uh, wild card spirit symbols that I bought. Mm -hmm. And you cannot buy advancements and hold them until other cards come up. You have to buy an advancement that you have room for, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Just wanted to be sure about that. We've been playing that way. Okay, I'm at one curse. Yeah. Because, of course, it's canceled. One decay. Yeah, one decay, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of empty cards. <sighs> yep. Oh my God. One he's, DK. He's still at one DK. Still at one DK. One DK. DK. <laughs> oh, he's gonna get that. What a deck! <laughs> he's gonna get the seal. What a deck! He's gonna find that worm. Uh, cleansing rain. Search your deck for any card, and you may. Okay, so take you're it at, out. You're at two. two. I'll take out this trash cursed land. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Matt is popping off. Took a while. So Matt's just running his whole deck now, right? Yeah. Well, we'll see if Matt can now convert this into into a win con, a right? bajillion so, mana. I'm at two right now, right? Yeah. Keep going. Well, so... It, all right, so you're done. All right, now you're done. Yeah. Woof! Yeah. Woof! Because I gained that permanent. Yeah. So... 
So these two cancel themselves out, right? Yeah. yeah. This cancels this one out. So you've got one, two, three. Okay. There right. you go. I have a lot of cards going on. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, this was me building my field for my next turn, right? Yeah. yeah. By the okay. way, I appreciate the way they have all the uh, the little like tab on the side with all the icons, so you mm. can la lay them out yeah. nicely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. makes it a little bit better. Well designed. Yeah. Uh, I got are... I got five. My term's fairly boring. I'm just gonna buy this hulking. No, it's not that boring. Because what else do you have? What? Two oh, victory, two victory points. points. Yeah. 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 Beer, 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 I'm gonna beer, throw beer. this hulking Thornhide on my seedling, and it's gonna cancel all but one. So if I can get more. Unfortunately, I have a lot of stops in this deck, but we'll see. Um, all right. I'll, re I'll refill the store. It's another hootie! Hoot, ah, hoot. So many hooties. Yep. Right, I got a curse land. Curse land. Curse land. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Wow. All right. Uh, Bummer. My turn. I have four. I'm going to buy a grassland. Um, that's literally all I do. I'm going to put a grassland in this curse land just to negate it. So that goes there. One, two, oh. Yo, Ben. Mm. Team, team, no turn next turn. Oh, no. Yeah, all right. All right, Beej, you're up. All right. Oofa, doofa. Oh, sorry. And. What do you got? Another dog oh, yeah. finger. They're fun. You're fun. Thank you. You're fun too. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would have been. That's wow. Like a, that's like a budget version of the Grown Tender, which would have worked pretty it, well it, in yeah, my deck too. Just giving it just gives you mana, right? Which is yeah. kind of nice. Um, okay. One, two. Th I'm not pushing. Okay. So you have one, six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight manas. Uh, I'm going to spend. Forty. I'm gonna buy a top hoodie. I'm gonna have to buy a top hoodie. <laughs> top hoodie. Top hoodie. And America's I already know where he's hoodie. going, but that's fine. So he's gonna go there. Don't. Don't worry, we've got top two, hoodies on it. I can't go put anywhere. It's your turn. It's funny because pushing would have been a way to get something else out so I could actually... Yeah, but... Yeah, but it's, well, it's, or you lost your whole terrible turn. terrible risk, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's my turn. Uh, sleeve the advancement. I have done that. Two full cards here. And then we replenish with a Druid Song in the bottom position. It's four. It's worth a victory point. Gives you something of anything. And I'll build your field for next turn. All right. Cursed Land. One. Two up. Another two up. Ooh. Two. two. There it is. All right. Matt. Oh, I have a lot going on here. Um, so you counted previously. How much How much mana do you have? Eight. All right. You got lots of room to buy. Yes. I am going to buy this. Yeah, that seems absurd in your deck. That seems absolutely absurd in your deck. <laughs> it gives a growth and a leaf spirit, and when played, look at the next on-deck card. I may discard it. Incredible. And um, you can make two of these purchases? I imagine you have enough resources to do that. Is it going to well, pair? let's see. I thought you were going to pair it with one, but okay. Yes. I mean, I have enough cards <laughs> cycling through at this point, right? <laughs> he doesn't even care. Yeah, fair. He doesn't even care, me. Yeah, oh, look, I see enough of my deck, it doesn't matter where it ends yeah, up. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, I have Did, three. Matt didn't get any victory points, right? He, uh, I don't no. think he has any victory point cards no. in his deck. Matt, no. Matt's got a way to flop out his deck, but he hasn't found his victory con victory condition One, yet. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six two of play with. two of any one sun two bears and a tree is that right something like that yeah so you can if you shop smart you could buy shop S one of these and one of the bottom but you'd have to be more specific as to oh which ones you're choosing okay two bear and so two bear two of any and one sun a leaf and a leaf you can do that. four bear and then a leaf in a forest. I am going to uh, buy the feral growth. Oh yeah, which gives me three victory points yeah. at now the end of the game. What's left? I have a mystery and a sunburst, mm -hmm. where I get the radiant pinnacle, which on harvest gives me a green spirit. Point. Now the good news is Matt can only buy two of these a turn. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah. at some point, at some point, the train stops. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You can't continue to snowball that too far ahead. All right, let's replenish and then rebuild your deck. What you got? We've got a Wellspring Glade, which is two 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 Whoa. for seven. Well, we and then the Blooming Arbor, which is if you were spoiled, we have three Blooming Arbors visible. All right, and let's see. 
Look at that. Whoa. That's what is it? Two, what? It's two, it's magic two stuck seeds together. Stuck oh. Christ. Okay. I was like, why would they do that? That's no. Doesn't make any sense. Thank God. Okay. There's a magic seed in the middle. The one where you gain one for every card if you're storming off. All right. And it's wow. it, it's each other card, so this Ooh. one doesn't count for yeah. one. So zero. There's a lot of static electricity. One. one. Mm -hmm. Two. It's each other card. Okay, I'm at two. Three. And that's my third. Right. Oh, that's the worst. Eh, not the worst, but like, yeah, it didn't pop not, off there. Not the best. But I mean. Right, here we know. What you doing for your baby turn? <laughs> I, I got a baby turn right after you. How fucking dare you? <laughs> You're a baby hey, turn. Yeah, <laughs> I I accept my baby turn. Wow. Yeah. Uh. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna push. Ooh. You're like screw this turn. I want a better turn next turn. Yeah. Matt, you have a free growth. Okay, it's you? fine. Yeah. Oh, um. Yeah, it's already on the board. So I'm gonna buy this cleansing rain. Ooh. Cleansing, cleansing rain. <laughs> <laughs> what song was that? Chocolate Rain. No. Yeah. He was doing Chocolate Rain, but I'm, I knew oh, you were. Yeah. But I don't know what you were doing. Notion Rain. Which was the song that referenced that, but I only ever sang it about magic cards. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus you Christ. have very particular <laughs> interests. Oh my god. That's I awesome. Never knew what that reference. That's awesome. <laughs> yep. All right. You both arrived at the same thing. Yeah. Oh, cool. What Arts is it? Chorus. Uh, this is the same one every time you buy other things on that card. It's this thing that I have on this current card. Oh, cool. So, all right, I'm at one. Makes it cheaper. Nothing. Two. All right, one there. Two. Two. Mm. Keep going. Yeah, because it has a it has a. Growth. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. What's up, bear friend? Okay. So that stops it. You're gonna get four victory points next turn. That's sweet. It's not Ooh. bad. Dang. So, Ben, you've inspired me to not accept my baby turn. Okay. I'm going to push. Because, you know what? It doesn't even matter. At, at least I get one of these out of my deck, yep, right? and you'll get a mana next yeah. turn. Yeah, so. so I'm going to push. Wait, but now you just get rid of one, and you don't even have to worry. Don't I have to reveal first? Or no? It says when played. Yeah. And it's oh, so now. I push, so I automatically get rid yeah. of this first. Uh, I didn't know that. I yeah. actually oh, didn't no, 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 definitely. Yeah. I didn't know that interaction yeah. when I thought of it. So it doesn't even matter what you reveal. But now, okay, so you got a cursed land. I'm gonna push it again because again, Ooh. well, with this turn is garbage, sure. right? Yeah. Like, I, I'm just gonna dig through all the garbage. You come up hey, you're fine. Roses. Cleansing rain. So you could look through the one card in your deck and see if it's something that you need. I'm gonna push. Okay. So what is it? I'm gonna keep this. Hold on. You uh, may put it in. Search your deck for any card, and you may put it in there. So I was looking for a cursed land. I couldn't find it. Sure. So you now can... I'm going to p push and play this and get rid of this and okay. now shuffle. There we go. I still only have two energy. I played wow. six cards and I only have two energy. Decay. Mm. Decay. I only have two decay. <laughs> See, your deck is trying to do a bit of what mine is doing with. But in a different but way. But it's worse. In a different way. It's worse. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, doing what Matt, I'm doing what Matt is doing, but worse. You didn't lean into the growth as much as I did. I didn't have the opportunities to buy them. Because I kept buying them. Yeah. That, that's the thing. There's there's a weird thing in these games, too, that if, like... That was, like... Your only choices. The, the most, like... Like, one after another backhanded compliments Sorry, that... out of you. That was so wild. Like, <laughs> no, no, nothing but respect there. Because that was impressive. It's your, it's your You're birthday. like, your, your deck birthday. is trying to do what my deck is trying to do, no. but in a different but you way. you fucking oh, well, it because I couldn't get it. Well, because I was too busy popping off. <laughs> no. So, here's a weird question. So, I played that, got rid of one, but I... Push to show it. So that was the push card. Yes. And now I reveal the top card? Yes. Yeah, you have to, yeah. Okay. So now... You're... Okay, that's, you're that's fine. I haven't spoiled, you're, though. You have not spoiled. You're so okay. So I can just... I can push again. And this counteracts itself anyway. So this is a free you're push. You're still at two. Yeah. So now I have to ask myself, do I want to push again? I'm at three? You're at... T you're at oh, three, three mana. Now. No, you're at you're, two mana, because this gives you one less. This you've is basically a blank card. All, and I'm at the same spot I was yes, before? Yes, exact yeah. same spot, but now you've gotten rid of some I of your push. cards. Whoa! <laughs> now I'm at three. All right. Does three do anything for me? I can't even buy any of those things. There's no victory you points. You yeah. fertile soil. No, yeah. I don't care about a fertile soil. I'm, I push again. Because I want my turn to do something, and Ooh. I spoil. But that's fine. Yeah, that's what you were wanting to do I anyway. wanted my turn. I wanted my turn to get my good cards out of the way. Sure. My next turn, one. 
two. Oh my god, next turn's also bad. Great. <laughs> Pass. Oh no. It's eight, four. Right? Yeah. yeah. Four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still pretty good. Yeah. It's not a pop off turn. From no. eight. Magic seed. Uh, uh, you don't have any. Um, no victory points, no nothing. Victory points? Okay. Yeah. I do not push. Okay. I stand with what I've got. Let's move on to harvest. Yeah, I'm Believe stand. in yourself. Stand in the place that I work. Think about the place now in face way. north. I think I'm going to buy these life bloom orchids uh, for the additional victory points. Nice. And I'm going to just put them in my field of flowers. Make it a good card. Make, yeah, make get a good it, card get feel it, better. Get it, yeah, make a good card feel better. I like mm-hmm. that idea. Mm-hmm. Put that in there. That's where that's going to go, obviously. Uh, but I had nothing else to purchase any of that yeah. with. Um, so that means I could go nowhere. Good turn. So that's it. Let's replenish. Ah, another magic seed. Yeah. It is the only magic seed. Yep. <laughs> and let us... You yeah. don't want to fuck that up again. Your magic seed. Okay, there is... One. One. Uh, 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 uh. Two. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, ah, ah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh ah, ah, ah. Ooh. Ah, ah, ah. Oh my god. Dan it in it. it. Oh, oh. This is funny. There was a uh, this blog I read. They put up a picture of this like this like older woman mm-hmm. um, who is like she. It's it's clearly all acted out as kind of a weird skit thing to start with, where she like shows up to you know a store to like comes into a music store and the guy sees her. And he's like, oh, uh, pianos and violins are in the back, right? And she's like, what? And then she like walks to like another place and it's. Uh, like a, I'm here to, I'm here to try out for the worship team or whatever. It's like, oh yeah, uh, well, no, the organ's way in the back. You can go sit in the and She's like, what? and then she shows up to, to a, disturbed cover band tryout, and the dude's like, hi, and he's like, and she's like, I'm here for the tryouts, drums, <laughs> and and he's like, sure. So she sits down and she plays down with a sickness. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, she's just playing the drum part over top of the the actual backing track. The drum part's not that hard. It's not. It's not that hard. Everyone makes this be like, oh, it's a really hard rocking song. It's like, it's not a hard drum part. She's really, like, given her. Well, yeah. But, but it's not, like, some sort of, like, challenging Thanks thing. to camera, the Disturbed, not actually really technically a great band. <laughs> so I, I thought it was funny when I saw that, because I was like, that's real weird that you're making this out to be what it is. Mm-hmm. Right, am I going to rip off the bottom? No. Do, it's still hurts. We're going yeah. to rip off the top sorry, this time. Sorry, Ben, was that Disturbed... Not a great technical band, yes. or technically not a great band. Both. <laughs> <laughs> Why not there both? There you You're allowed. Yeah. Just yeah. like yes. I don't give a crap about that band one way or the other. They just make a ca- that catchy thing. They yeah. don't disturb you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. I've never met them in All my right. life. So. Let's go. All right. We're running out of time on the show. <laughs> Keep going. Oh that shit! That's a good one. That's the one I just built. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh that's got to go there. Yep. yep. Okay. Yep. All right. That's, right. that's, there we go. Matt, I'm going to push. Okay. Because this... It gives you push protection. Gives me push protection. Let's see it. So now I need to shuffle this. I already shuffled it a bunch. I'm going to shuffle it at least once. I knew I was going to do this ahead of time. So. Oh, okay. But I saw the top card, yeah, the bottom card. Yeah, it was coming. Place. Sound of Silence is amazing, and it's all... But it's it's not even their own song. That's the thing. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh. Seven, eight, nine, ten. You could buy the Aurora. Wow, Aurora is so good for Matt. Yeah. So I'm gonna buy the Aurora. Yeah. So read it out loud. What does it do? He gains two On... victory points for each card. Sorry, no. Every, gain every... one for every two cards. Sorry. Yeah. The yeah. opposite of what I said. And also two victory points on yeah. the end. And yeah. a sunburst token. Are you buying anything on the veils? Oh, of course I Of course I am. you are, yes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I had more than I thought I had. <laughs> well, I mean that's a no-brainer if you have if you have enough of different things for it. Do I have enough for that and something else? One, two there. That one doesn't count. Mm-hmm. One, two, let's say. One, two. You need like a pad of paper and a notepad or something like oh, that. Oh hell, this is weird math. You have you have four swirls, and you have a bear claw, a um, a grass and a, a two grass and a sunburst. You have enough to buy that. 
I just don't know what and you have that, after, though. though. No, you want them both. Well, so you have me, eight. I guess. I have eight total. Yeah. You need yes. three sunbursts. Yes, you do, because you have... So if you if you use the sun and that for this, yeah. right, you still have a grass, right? One grass, one bear paw, bear and paw. then four yeah. mysteries. Yes, yeah. you can do both okay. of these. I'm doing both of those. So yeah. Matt just bought nine victory points. I think Matt's got this at this point. I, I don't know how we catch up with it. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, we have to end the game as quickly as possible we sure with do. victory points. Uh, Skyhaven. Also, I should put this on a card. Yeah, there's only 18 points we have to pull from the and? deck still. Uh, and Sunstone and Airy. I mm. have one of those. And then we've also got a stag. It's another yeah. stag. All right. Good oh, stag. Wow. Now the to two, build my field. The two stags are both going stag, but they're going together. Yeah. yeah. A curse. Okay, so you're at blank. Nothing. Blank. A curse. Okay, so, so one. One turtle. Remember, there's a lot of cards I did nothing with. Yeah. Wayfinder and Fertile Soil. A curse, That's but... A you're second. Two. Search your deck. Okay. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Any other curses left in there? Uh, yes. I'm going to remove... Hmm. I want to see him play like everything and then push and then wipe himself out. <laughs> because I think that would that would be just I'm not going to remove any of these. Oh, interesting. All right. So now reveal the top card. When played, you may discard any other card in your field. I'm going to discard one of my curses. We're back to two. Wait, did you get to play that one though? Because if that's the third one revealed on top, you don't get to play it. Oh, yeah, it really? is. Yeah, that's yeah. the third one. That one stops on top because you reveal it. So you'd stop mm -hmm. there. Yeah, so that one goes back on top, and then the other one stays I in mean, play. I mean, you can then... push to do it, so you can... But that, you can you'll, push you'll... when you get back to your turn next time, yeah, but you next, stop for when now. Yeah, go back to your turn. Well, no, you can... but he's got four in total, right? Because he, he's yeah. allowed to have four, right? Yeah, so, so he's you... only got three right yeah. now. Can and that's you... the fourth, so you can't play it. Because as soon as your third right. one yes. is revealed, yes. then you yes, stop. Yes, you are correct. So yeah. when it gets back to your turn next time, then you can push. Yeah. But you stop for now. Yeah, I guess I stop for now, You are correct. All right. That's my turn. Uh, okay, my turn. Um, so I have was just really entranced with what everyone else was doing. <laughs> it's fine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I don't think I have any other. So I am going to push. Okay. Which seems very dangerous. So you're risking four victory points. Yes. Okay. Wait, hold on. I bought that other one that other you, time. You haven't I have a... Have, uh, yes, okay. No, I know exactly. All right, I, I feel confident in pushing. Okay. Nice. Um, Hootie! It's Hootie. 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 Um, I'm going to push and chuck this Cursed Veil. Nice. So now I'm safe. There's this field of flowers. Hell yeah. Um, so I'm just going to push because I'm still safe. All right, all right. Here's where I get to do something. Yeah. It's coming. Ooh. I accidentally keep shuffling this in, and Chad is very... <laughs> Chad's called me on it twice. They're like, Ben keeps shuffling the symbols thing, and I'm like, all oh, right, and yeah. I get it out. That'll right. really screw up your draws. Yeah. yeah. It's like, it, <laughs> it has a curse yeah. symbol on it. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay, curse land. So now I could be in trouble, so I'm just going to chill. All right, so you gain four victory points. Four victory points are gained. Yeah, so Be just, or Ben is at eight now. Holy moly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to buy... Um, Yeah, I'm going to, with this, oh no, shoot. <laughs> you can get this, oh yeah, you can't with the stag because yeah. of the positioning. Yeah, that's annoying. God, do I push one more? You can get, you can get Hootie for four and put it on that and then have another, have another four if there's another four you want. I mean, Hoodie's really good. Mm. Yeah, that's why we have him on the shelf. Mm -hmm. He's my son. 
Collect all hooties. Um, yeah, okay. So I spend four. Yeah. I've still got... Well, wait. Yes, I spend four. So I've still got four. And it has to go on that one. Yeah. Um, so I guess I'll just do that. And... Um... Actually, sorry. yeah, roll it back. Can I roll this back? Yeah, yeah, yeah I just yeah. thought of something. Uh, I'm gonna grove tender. Uh, I've got so I've got eight. I'm gonna grove tender on this card to get yourself some growths. Yeah, so I've got two left. Oh, two good left. card. So yeah. it's, on, it's with the Hell stag yeah. and the bear. Yeah. Um. So actually, what this does is give me two growths. Um. Oh, and wow. then I could buy a four middle one, but so I've only got two. In my magic -y pool of magicness. Um, this one does not help you on that card, does it? No. It would give me one and mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. thingy. So, not tremendously. <laughs> but I think it's better than anything else that's there. Deeply middle, yeah. Because it also just gets me a, a thingy. So, yeah, I'll do that there. Um, now, I do have three bears and a green. Um, I've got three bears and a green, yeah. You don't have that bear because you just added it, right? No, this one's been there. This yeah. is oh, wait, I sorry. Yeah. Three bears so I have three green. bears and a green, um, which can't actually get me anything, can it? Oh, that sucks. No. <laughs> All right. What a damn shame. Wow, it actually can't. That's unfortunate. That's okay, though. I'm going to put this on there. It's all these All right, I'm going to start revealing yeah. the store here. We've got another flower at the bottom here. Uh, Not bad. Been nice. Uh, and we've got a moon wolf. Moonwolf up top. My poor Moonwolf. Moon yeah. All right. Curse land. Uh, curse land and cleansing rain. So I'm going to... Cleanse that rain. Get a curse land Search out for here. Back and get it out. Next was going to be a curse wow. land. So glad that's out of there. Yeah, that would have been a nothing turn. That would have been a very nothing turn, yeah. Which is not what I want. All right. Uh... <laughs> All right. Oh, curse oh, land. There we are. That's what happens. Cool game. Oh, you can push. Yeah. All right. Your turn, bud. Uh, I have four by a wolf. I should probably be like aggressively pushing, trying to maybe not fall behind and end the game, but at the same time, it's nice to have a quick turn. Mm -hmm. uh, one. You didn't get any uh, victory points in that turn? Nope. Two. Two. Holy moly. Uh, there's my big, my big turn next stop? turn. Yeah, but I stop there for... Now, yeah, there's nothing else I can do that turn. I'm going to replenish, and we have another plow, and Beedra. Uh Okay, I do not push. So we go to Harvest. Uh, hand me two victory points, please, for Ooh. my Life Bloom Orchids. Beege is up to eight as well. Beege is blue. Available pool is down to 12, so yeah. I think... I don't know if there's any chance to catch Matt right now, mm -hmm. but to do so, if there is any hope, we have to end the turn, the game, this cycle. There is a chance to end this game so we can go home. That, well, yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, but you know, if you're playing for a different victory, a victory condition too. Yeah. Yeah. I was making a joke. Oh. Yeah. Why would you ever do that? I don't know. I am going to. 14. Have a good time. <laughs> Having a good time. Having a good time. <laughs> Having a good time. I think it's closer than it might be because he doesn't have any victory points yet. I oh, I have it's... zero. Yeah. I only see 14 visible there. Mm -hmm. I wasn't giving up. I was just literally oh, being okay. like, yeah, because it's it's 7.48 and we could, yeah. yeah. We thought we would be done with okay. these games in 45 minutes. I'm going to take, mm -hmm. I'm going to, I have six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. To yeah. be fair, we didn't think that. I'm going to buy Druid Song. <laughs> well, That's we, just what it says in the box. Yeah. And I'm going to buy uh, this this one here. You've nice. bought the most fertile soil Actually, of all of us. Yes. This shit is so fertile. Yeah. I think that's. I think this Beige is how we describe Beige. Beige is an incredibly fertile man. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. So I've already done that. I can't. Uh, th this one doesn't count, and I have. We should stop. You should stop slotting yeah, them in as you're exactly, going Yeah, exactly. Sorry. Uh, sunburst and uh, and swirl. And sunburst and swirl. You have all of those. You get swirl protection. <sighs> mm -hmm. yeah, we, that we, seems a good thing to be aggressive with. All right. So I'm going to buy that. Done buying. I am. Done buying. We have a Talahord 
Dorn Den. <laughs> Sorry, whatever. <laughs> it's a bear. For green, green, you get a bear every turn. We also put another Grove Tender out to play. Holy crap. Oh, B just popping off. Okay. So that's going to be a bit of a big move next time. Wow. Uh, nice. I'm done. I pass to you. We'll have 10 oh, next turn. Right. Yeah. So yeah, you got, you got to be careful uh, putting the, the things in. Yeah. yeah. Don't do it until, yeah. So oh, cause cause we're still Because they don't that, count. Yeah. Right. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, hoot. Hoot, hoot. Oh. I will put Hootie onto a nice card to give me more mana to play with later on. But that's all my mana. Mm. Yeah, uh, Beige is in the maximum irony position. One, now. He's got so much mana, but he can't spend it on yeah. anything. Yeah. Yeah. I, just worked out that way. I am going to buy this Blessed Savannah. Yep. Oh, no no way. shit. I can't buy that Blessed Savannah. You don't have access to enough bear? I don't have access to enough bear. He's got three bear. Mm. I have three entire bears. But he can buy the Sky Haven. In most circumstances, three too. bears would be a sufficient number of bears. Mm -hmm. I don't know what all you've purchased so far. Like how, how many actual... You're, are you just working off of what you got here? What I have here and one bear pop. Ah. Uh, so five total, one of each plus two mystery. So I could buy that or that, mm -hmm. <laughs> but not both. Talonthorn Den yeah. or Conclave Events. If you have multiple of any of these, though, you get to use one each time, right? That's the idea. Yeah. It's an interesting, like, snowball advantage thing. Mm hmm. Uh, I'm going to buy the den. Okay. You would, yep. On harvest, I gain one bear paw. So that'll take care of that problem. Want. Yeah. Does that, uh, does that put us... Are you... And now it's time to refresh? Right. Let's find out what we got here. Lifebringer seed costs you five. Ongoing. Cancel all hmm. of the, all uh, the decay, decay on the card. card. Oh. So that's right. good. And uh, another level one veil. What are we looking at? Then Exodus Road. It's just two victory points. Yep. It's a mouse watching everyone else leave it. Ugh. Poor lonely mouse. <laughs> oh. Poor buddy. I made a mistake last time and left this in mm. as my top card. Mm. When played, you may discard any other card in your field. I have no other card. In you my could field. throw away that one. Any other. Other card. Oh yeah. shit! Never yeah. mind. So zero. Okay. Zero. Zero. Oh yeah. Zero. 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 When played, look at your next on deck card. You may discard it. So shuffle. You're at negative one now. Oh yeah, I am. Calm wow. weather. I'm making a nice place to live is what I'm doing. I mean, I feel as though Matt might be the most druid of us so far. <laughs> yes. In terms of somebody who has actively fought the decay. Yeah. I think Matt wins that. I grew up in Nelson, like. <laughs> It very, rubs off. On very in one. touch with the, <laughs> the rural life. All right, so look at the top card. You I'm, want to discard it? No. All right. Just gonna put that Negative on there. one. Oh, right, because it can count. Negative for stuff. one. Negative one. Negative one. Zero. Zero. One. 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 When played, you may discard any other card in your field. Zero. 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 Oh, my God. I love these blanks. One. One. Uh, two. What is this one? It's got spoil protection. But I have spoil uh, protection. Okay. Two and three. And you stop. Okay. Because it's on top. I have spoil protection and I'm going to use it next turn. Yep. <gasps> All right. <laughs> Whoo, that's a lot of mana, buddy. Wow. Yeah. All right, my turn. Yeah. A lot of blank cards. Uh, to fill. I'm gonna push because it doesn't really. This turn is a, a yeah. wash, I think. Yeah. Ooh, you have three. I can't even read all of these. Um. Hmm. So that counts as a blank. I don't know if there's anything I can do with this. Uh. You know what? I'll just buy this field of flowers. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and that'll be it there. Replacing it with this Podlings. Nice. Uh, all right, I got Lotus, Hawk, Oh. 
seedling, fertile soil, two, two. three. All right. It's five victory points next turn for me. I have five. I'm not going to push. I'm going to buy a plow. There's no victory points that turn for you there. Not for me, no. Or search. <clears throat> Correct. So next turn, however, I'm going to get some. So mm -hmm. one, two. Ooh, my Grove Tender big money card there. So that actually cancels out both. Yep. So you're back at zero. Back at zero. <clears throat> God, what if you built your cards so you couldn't actually... you just have them all out. You'd play your entire deck. Yeah. Is... Jesus. Kind of cool. I mean, that's possible, I think. Yeah, it is. You're, yeah, wow. There, you'd have to, you'd still have to play it through because yeah, because <laughs> you got to go matters. through the flips, obviously. All right, so one. Eh. Two. One played, discard a card. Get rid so of curse land. We're back at one. Get rid of a curse land. Fertile ground. There we go. We're finally we're finally popping off too. Wait. So that's just one. Oh, so this is now yet. two. Let's All right, see. and then we stop there. No, nope, because it cancels itself out. There you go. Stop there. Popping All right, off. I'm gonna have a big turn next turn. All right. Uh, Beach can do. Here's the thing. I messed up. Yeah. Uh oh Because no. that owl allows me to discard a card. Oh no! Yeah, and I should have gotten rid of that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. But it has victory points on it. It well, yeah, but it means that like doesn't give me any necessary. I could have actually tried to keep rolling and have more space. I think the lotus space. would have been the best one to get rid of, honestly. Yeah, just to keep the. So you got all this mana and some veil stuff. So, but you do have two victory points. Just veil. He does. I have two victory points. Unless he decides so to push. I, hang on. It's, it's probably worth me getting a few more victory points off of the thing to move us along, but... Yeah, maybe. Um, stop, stop the... Matt's doing too much healing. He's healing too much! Yeah. I don't, I'm too powerful! I got nothing else to do. It's like, uh... I can buy nothing. The I white can, is out of control. I can buy nothing, I can do nothing in the veil. I can spend two mana to convert any of these into a wild. Oh. Oh. I could spend mana to convert any one of these into a wild once per turn. You could get the Sky Haven. Because you could go Bear 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 Sky or Bear yeah. Bear Sun. That three victory points. Does that only you can only do that once per turn? Once, once per turn. You may spend two mana to use any one of the the standard symbols as a wild shape. So I think or as a as a wild uh, as the druid spirit. druid yeah. song, yeah, spirit. Um then I'm gonna do that. I'm going to burn two mana. And get your and Sky Haven? buy Sky Haven. You got birds. That's something. <laughs> You've got birds, birds. ass uh, face. <laughs> so <laughs> no, so don't, I'm don't assuming this that. means that yeah. you're, not, uh, you're pushing? not pushing. I'm not pushing. Yeah. Right. No. So you get two more victory points. You're up to ten, and we have ten victory points left. Great. Oh. Uh, let's let's flip that then. No, not yet. Why? Yeah, have you, are you done buying for the entire turn? I cannot buy advancements. Oh, because your cards are all I'm, full. My cards oh, are full. Oh, okay. So yeah. I'm done. Thank you. What's that? Stream of Vigor for oh, green. That's the mana thing. Brown, yeah. brown, harvest gain two. Yep, that's the mana one. Oh, that's absurd. All right. That gets that because it gets some bought. Oh, it only gets to buy advancements. It doesn't mm. let him buy more of these. Yeah. Okay, so you can't snowball that advantage with those. Yeah. All right. So, one. Zero. Uh, still at one. Yep. Two. Three. And okay. the third one, yep. All right. You could push later. Man, right. are you pushing? I'm pushing. I'm staying. <laughs> okay. I counted my pips before that. Good yeah. for you. Also, I get two victory points. Hey, Matt's on the board. Yeah. Hey. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and gain one for each other card in your field. I'm not even going to count that out. I can only buy two things with mana here. Just buy more seeds. Yeah, you can get up to... <laughs> We, we realize you can buy any two cards on there, yeah. and we'll just trust you for it. <laughs> so, you say seeds? No, I'm not going to do that. Oh, yeah? I'm going to do a combo. Stag. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this seed. Yeah. I cancel Or, sorry. All. Was it this one? Well, you've got a combo, I think, Bruce. Yeah, this so. one. So, oh. that would be Grove Tender. Ongoing, Grove Tender has one growth for each... Uh, helmet on this card, and Stag has two helmets. So this is 
card becomes plus one growth. Yeah. That's super good. And plus four victory points whenever it comes up. <laughs> Add that little nugget <laughs> yeah. on there. Yep. Very cool. Very cool. I love being cool. <laughs> okay. Uh... I have a leaf, a bear paw, a bear paw, a leaf, a leaf, a bear paw, a leaf, a So you can get the Blessed Servant this time. And two, yeah, I can get, I can definitely get that. I'm going to get that. Oh, sure. <laughs> and that's all my bear paws, but I have two randoms, which I'm going to get that Exodus Road mm -hmm. with. Mm. All right, now I think, <laughs> now I think Matt has won it. Yeah. Before, <laughs> before maybe <laughs> it was up in the air. Uh, if yeah. we had ended it maybe the turn before this, but so, now I, I don't think we can catch it. There's another that. stag. Okay. Verdant Valley with a stag on it. Whoa, that's cool. It does look very cool. Here is another Lightbringer seed. Oh, I can do the same thing. <laughs> Just all there. Oh, no, wait. Not quite. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. And an Azure Lake. Gaining one mana. Mana. Cool. Oh, that yeah. would be the ramp for uh, Ben. Mm. That's pretty cool. We're past the stage of ramp. <laughs> well, I mean. You said you liked it so much. I do. You're very right. So we're at 25. We have eight left. <coughs> yes. That's like a couple more hands. Well, and I'm getting five on my turn. Ah. And then I'm getting four on my turn. So it's over. And if you have a... <laughs> it's over. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It's so it's that over. means I can only get three on my would turn. We, would we like to shortcut that? Uh, yeah, we'll go pretty fast. So just like buy on your turn getting victory yeah. points. Don't worry about re-revealing. Yeah. So okay. Don't, re don't worry about re-revealing. Because you're not getting another turn. Yeah. Okay. The, the yeah. game's over. So, okay. Uh, I'm just going to go straight to mine. I get five victory points. Yep. Paul. Uh, and then I've got a bear, bear, and a Sun thingy, burst. which was going to get me uh, this. Yeah. So for but. people who might not have been here when the stream started, when the victory point count in the lower left corner is empty, the game ends immediately. That's and that's when the game points. stops. But it might be worth something if we count bales. Yeah. No. So I don't know if we do count veils. No, well, you for victory points. Yes. Yeah, I just thought that it might be like, how many veils do you have total? That's worth something if you have a certain number of... Oh, you're you know, thinking... Like, like in the longest some, road? Some games have like an extra count at the end, is yeah. that yeah. wondering? Sure, I'll buy... Uh, yeah, I guess I'll buy it. Cool, okay. All right. And Let's flip that over. Another one of them. Okay. Another um, Azure Lake. So I can only gain three points, yeah. even though I have access to four. Which isn't great there. I have access to 12. Sorry, uh, there is a question about, can we double check that in the in the rules that, 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 that you can't get the full number of victory points? I get all four points? I, or can we double check that? I sure, because normally there are actual physical things. Yeah. And it says the game ends when you remove them all. And I would assume that... Yeah, if you go over and you would only get the ones that you got, I would assume, but... We can double check that. Yeah. So while Ben is looking that up, I'll buy for the turn. Uh, I'm going to buy a stag just because it's worth two victory points. Ooh, good idea. Um, and I have access to four suns and one green. My four suns. Stay away Jesus. from me and my four suns. <laughs> I guess I'll buy a blooming arbor just in case it's worth something. Yeah. Ah, okay, never mind. What's up? So when the tokens are run out, finish the finish playing the current round so that each player gets an equal number of turns. Oh, I see. If tokens in the pool run out and a player would still gain, take them from the tokens that were left in the box. Players now count their points. Oh, so you can still get points, I guess. Okay. So we have to finish the round. You should play your whole round, then. So Well, we... so it's you two yeah. left, okay. so it doesn't actually matter for... Okay. Uh, so did you give me the one additional one, pull? Yeah. So you're, right. at, you're at nine. Yeah. And I'm done. All right, so Matt will... Get to finish it, and we yeah. can, and we can start counting. Yeah, five, six, seven. I can't get. Oh, to we them. haven't replaced these. Right. Should flip this as well. Ooh, 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 ooh. Who are you? Ooh. Oh, that is good. I'm showing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Could buy the podlings. Yeah, I just start evaluating cards based on how many points yeah. they're worth, right? Yeah. Or I could push. God, that'd be funny. I mean, if you don't have any points that are coming there. Yeah, I'll push. Right? Okay. So push. The top. Also, I get a peacekeeper druid. So if I spoil, which I didn't, that Keep gives going. me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
which would be enough to buy that, but I can't put it on any of my cards. I could buy that, which is also worth two. I think maybe just for just for ease of whatever, I think I just buy this for eight. Okay. Yeah, I mean, so they're worth points. That's that's the thing yeah. I guess that I goofed up on. Yeah. So I do that. I am showing. You, you didn't get a, any. You didn't get any victory points that turn. Did no, you? but I forgot yeah. that you can buy cards that are worth points at the end, and I yeah. didn't have money, and oh. things I could have slotted them into. Oh. But whatever. Well, the potling wasn't out then. Yeah, but these guys. I were... had. I think I had like six. Okay. Oh, okay. But it's again, it's not. I sure, 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 I sure. genuinely don't think we're going to yeah. do that. Yeah, I have a feeling so I'm not you're right. Worried. <laughs> if you're within two of somebody, okay. then we'll see. But. I'm done. I'm going to slot this one into uh, this cursed land. You're done. I'll replace that. Actually, no, I'm going to slot Will into this one so it's worth one. Nice. Will of the Wisp. It's just two victory points and money. And we're two at the end. All right, what did you end up with, Matt? I have 13 mana plus. Uh -huh. Uh, one, harvest, gain one for two. each other card in your field, which I'm not even counting because 13 is enough. You can to buy, buy two. any two cards, sure. Um, and I'm going to buy with that these two. Yeah, so initial four victory points. <laughs> Matt, did you end up with the thing that, that gets you victory points for every card in your field? I didn't draw it here, I don't think, but I'll oh, okay. check. This is a really thick stuff. And then are you able to buy any of these? I am going to be mm -hmm. able to, yes. Uh, I don't have the victory points thing there, although I do get four oh. for one of the cards that I have here already. So that goes up to six victory points. Yeah. This was added, so I don't get that. Um, bear paw, bear paw, bear paw, mystery, sunburst, leaf. And all of my standards. So you can buy the valley, not even using any of your mysteries. Yeah. yeah. So I buy the verdant valley. Yeah. And then you have four mysteries. At least. Nothing else is worth victory points, so it doesn't really matter. I'll just for the buy this just sure. for. Sure. All right. And that is. And that's, <laughs> that's game. it. Cool. So how all do right. we how do we score it up? So basically, uh, on top of the score you got, you've got uh, all the points from your veils that are literally have the the. Silver shield, yeah, and then um, or the silver uh, diamond, and that's the extra victory points. Whoever has the most is the winner. Oh, so, literally based on that. Okay, yeah. So there's cool. no other thing like who has the most X or nope. Y or whatever. Okay. Nope. Uh, then uh, did you already count yours up? I did. Mm -hmm. I have an extra ten. Okay. So I'm at twenty three. Hopefully the the fact that I didn't buy anything doesn't actually change anything. Uh, I had an extra sixteen, so that puts me to twenty five altogether. So it would have. So two, <laughs> so two ahead of Ben. Uh huh. Not not worth too much there. And Matt's Matt's got the veils. I had Paul. I had an extra nineteen. Ooh. So BJ twenty nine. Ooh. Um, I have just from my veils that I counted right now. <laughs> 29 points. Oh, Jesus! Yeah. All, right. All right. I have not looked at my card bonuses yet. Do it. Do it. Do it. Flex on us, birthday boy. Uh, is that appropriate, though? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the one day of the year it's the most appropriate. Yeah. Sure. Okay, not those. So you're at 35? Yeah. For now. For now, he says ominously. Mm-hmm. The druid is styling uh, on us. Like all yeah. druids do, you flex upon your enemies, hear the lamentations yeah. of their people. It's like, it's like, <laughs> right, uh, excuse me, uh, all the druids have, we, we've all got together and we agreed you're making us look bad. Yeah, you're kind of a dink. Yeah. 14 for my cards. You're working way nice. too hard and we're going to need you to just cool it a bit. This game is sweet. We yeah, I really like this. this. Game is. Uh, yeah, I think it's good. It, it su so as we played, the, the more we played it, the more I realized that it does suffer from the thing that every one of these games does, which is this is the winning strategy. Mm. Um, uh, the cycling your deck is cycling baseball. your deck is like the, oh yeah, and, and a number number of folks in chat were mentioning that 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 is the the thing that this game suffers from. Mm. That being said, um, if everybody's working on that strat. Then I don't think it works as well, and I'd be curious to see what happens. In well, that if regard. everybody ends up with one or two, and you can't just then, like then yeah, 
if, you're, mean, if you're all sort of it's, cognizant it, of that. And it's it's sort of like if you're in a draft and you don't get cut on stuff, you can just draft some sure. awesome yeah. yeah. Well, this whole genre often has a, a oh, like wow. a snowball, not a snowball problem, but like when one person gets really rolling, it's, it's very momentum, hard. Yeah. It's very hard to catch up. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say the other thing is that oh, apparently um, there are a number of expansions. One, two, um, three. Which yeah. uh, people are saying that ha do kind of uh, even out the uh, curve a little bit. Yeah. yeah, so it was one of those things where as I was going, um, I didn't see uh. a way to to combat that, right? It's like if you play your whole deck, mm. the, the way you're intrinsically getting points is from cards like coming down or from just getting like end game stuff, right? Yeah. And, and so it's like the cards that win points are typically decay ones. And so That's you're, you're gonna get down. stopped, which yeah. forces you to build the the, the other way don't around. get stopped deck kind of thing. So, so it's interesting. I'm I'm really I'm really curious to see. Like I'd I'd love to bring if you it back play and more, see more and you get more yeah. familiar with yeah. it, and you start playing a little bit faster. Because there's definitely the part where like okay, we're two and a half hours. This in. went very long. Yeah. yeah. So well, with that note, thank you very much for tuning on in. <laughs> Uh, a reminder that this stream is brought to you by the amazing folks over at wormwoodgaming.com. If you want to get one of their uh, right. products personal. and you live in the U.S., you can use code LRR for free shipping. And everywhere else, you can use code LRR World for $10 off shipping. Paul? Wormwood Gaming, the bones of trees and the skins of beasts. Offer not valid in the Mystic Vale. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Apparently you're, not. You're out of luck. Because there's no thing to roll. Yeah. Uh, and a reminder that everything we do is brought to you by you over at our Patreon at patreon patreon.com slash loading ready run. You're the reason you're able to do all kinds of cool things like, for example, these three boys here and Heather are going to be all at PAX South uh, in a couple of weeks here. So if you are going, come on down and say hi. We'll be hanging out in Bandland and slinging merch and signing things and all that kind of jazz. So even if you're not feeling like, even if you can't buy anything. Because, I don't know, PAX tickets are expensive. You can just come over, say hi, we'll sign your shoe. I don't know. Yeah. Like, I think even depending on... Okay, I hate doing this. Even but if you don't want to, they'll sign I, your shoe. I think... Yeah. Be careful. Depending on where Bandland is this year, it might even be possible to walk in, walk over to Bandland and say hi, buy merch from us, and leave. Yeah. Ooh, but we need to be very clear, clear that we're not endorsing that sort of behavior. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I somebody like did that possible. in BC or in, in Australia, yeah. and it seemed mega scummy. Yeah, it's kind so of, if you're coming kind to of packs, shitty. So please consider buying a ticket, yes. even if it's just for the day. They it treat does. us very well. Yeah. <laughs> um, Patreon.com. They treat us very well. Yeah. Thank you to all of you. Uh, let's quickly talk about what's going on for the rest of the week and read some subs and bounce on out of here. All right, we got uh, Checkpoint Plus. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. Coming Checkpoint. up tomorrow. What does the plus mean? Uh, it means that it's no longer on uh, PATD. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's the it's the live part. It's yeah. the it's Checkpoint uh, the, the show, and then there's also the plus part, which is the talking about stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's going to be interesting this week. I'm going to say. The, the news is a little thin on the ground. There's a lot of not only uh, not only like year in review, but also decade in review articles out there. Not a lot, and a lot of like, hey, I just played this old retro game. It's a lot of fun. No <laughs> shit, it was fun yeah. when it came out. Which is which is uh, uh, not the most newsworthy, but there we go. Ugh. But then LRMTG. Afterwards, uh, you ever there. want to watch an adult flood and magic? Boy, do we have a stream for you! Watch James rip land after land. Is there gas in his deck? You'll never know because you'll never see it. It's nothing but fuel. There's actually nothing to do with it. So. Yeah, refuses to play lands. <laughs> and but speaking then, uh, of land, but yeah, Thursday night, uh, ben, uh James is going to be doing a um, special stream in Minecraft of all the betrayal houses. Yeah, this was so impressive. Huh. Yeah. They were, each and every episode, they were making the houses as we built them. In, in Minecraft? In Minecraft. Uh, really? And it was incredibly impressive. Some of those houses are real big, and some, some of them, them are, are real very, small. Some of them are uh, very tiny. Some of them no longer exist because they got pushed into the aether. Oh, right. Oh. Yeah. Did, did they, like, fill them with TNT and then blow them up? Well, no, I think that because they always built what it is at the end, and so I think there's one that's just literally like a plot of land. Like, there's just nothing there. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Cool. I'm or really maybe just a hole. I can't remember. A yeah. plot of land with a little sign that's like. Yeah, there's one that literally just one of our houses ended up getting sucked into a black hole. It's just like a hole. hole in the ground. Yeah. 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 Huh. 
So that's going to be happening on uh, as a bonus on uh, Thursday night. So come check that out. And then on Friday, it's going to be the finale of the Canadian Highlander Fall League. Well. Yeah. Where they're be going to be uh, playing all different Powerful decks. magic. Yeah, it's going to be the North 100 folks uh, plus Nelson and Cameron. And yeah, they're going to be playing the powerful, of, the most powerful of the magics. I have a shot of winning this one, which I haven't done yet. Hey, that's Ooh. good. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, and then Adam continues his battle against Persona 5. More anime. Who will win? I don't know. Right now, Persona 5. Right is now, like, it feels like Persona 5 is in yeah, the lead yeah. in that fight. <laughs> I, I, I believe in Adam, though. He'll fight back. Yeah. Uh, speaking of fighting back, Shenmue 3. <laughs> Ian's going to be playing some Shenmue 3. I saw on the uh, the stream highlights, he was playing the like uh, pachinko thing. Yeah, lucky and, hit. Oh, yeah. And the ball just landed on one of the pegs and stopped. <laughs> mm-hmm. Not the first time. <laughs> Don't know why you would, like, if you're designing it out of polygons, why wouldn't you just make it triangles? But so that's like that's balance. like flipping a coin yeah. and having it land on the edge. Right? Yeah. Is there a tilt button, like in pinball, where you can hit it? No, or... you just you have to hit reset on the Dreamcast. That's how you get this thing to... Actually, it's yep. not a Dreamcast game. So but I still, yeah. I, I don't know what he had to do get out of it. Actually. Somehow it detects that you push reset on a Dreamcast separately yeah. from the game. I think he's fixes. described it as if you sit there for so long, the game is like, oh, you're stuck. I'll take you out of it. You have to pay to play again. Yeah, that yeah. sounds like that sounds like Shenmue. Yeah, the yeah. carny like comes around and is like, oh yeah, we can't fix that. Sorry. Yeah, but uh, but he's going to be playing it again on Sunday. Cool. And then it's going to be Rhythm Cafe, where Ian and Heather are going to be playing a rhythm game that I do not know what it is. I don't either. It'll but then, though. on Monday... Oh, right. On Monday, it's going to be the finale, the dramatic finale of Road Quest. Will they survive? We don't know. <laughs> and so What will happen? Well, the reason it says Q&A at 5 is because at 4 is the finale. Yes. So show up to YouTube to watch that. Mm-hmm. And then after that, we will stream a Q&A with people. Yeah, so we're, it's it's open. I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Mondays gonna, are my day off. Yeah. There's yeah. like going to be a there's a there's a document up. Yes, there is. A, there's a a Google um, form where people where we're uh, taking question submissions. Mm -hmm. Do you have cues you want aid? Um, I think we can probably safely say that uh, Graham will be there. Yeah. That's a for sure, mm -hmm. Uh And um, yeah, as as much of the uh, cast and crew as are available, and uh, I'll be asking questions. We'll be answering your questions and talking about whatever uh, hmm. they want to talk about in terms of um, uh, the stories about the trip and everything. Yeah. So also, it's a hot behind the scenes antics. Oh God! Yeah. Like how many people are actually naked in that hot spring? Yeah. yeah. The answer was three. Yeah. <laughs> but which... Uh, and then saw, on Tuesday... I saw Graham's wing. Oh, it's oh, nine o'clock. And uh, talking Beautiful to Sam. Beautiful when you see your boss's wing. Let's nope. <laughs> Back to the normal, normal stuff. Back to the normal stuff indeed. Uh, yeah. Speaking waiting. of normal stuff, let's welcome some subs. I'm waiting for Paul to just bring our mics down yep. to nothing. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Subs. All right. All right. So thank you to all you wonderful people who have subscribed during the stream and are sponsoring this content for this good or for bad. <laughs> you, you can't take it back now. Yeah. Uh, you did this. But in particular, I want to thank all the people who subscribed during the stream. Starting with bottom slop. Slot member, the M8, for 23 months. Thank you. You changed the text. This is amazing. Yeah. You changed the font. It's a font change. Good what for you. Font is it new now? year. New uh, year, new font. New year, new, new font ball. that uh, an, an L, L, uppercase uh, I, and an L now look different. Yeah, dim serifs. Uh, Venara for 69 nice months. Welcome back. Lark Sacrosis. Thank you for... 39 months, exclamation. The Behemoth Barn, uh, back for uh, their second year. Look at that. I got to take a trip to the Behemoth Barn. Mm -hmm. And but um, for 63 months. Thank you. Egypt Craze. Eh, it'll pass. For 56 months. Welcome back. Black Wolf. Thank you for 72 months. That's so many months. 
JPSS 92,400 for 10 months. Welcome back, JPSS. 10 months. And Top Slaughter, Lithe Leon Shod for 23 months of support. Uh, were, were they, Thank were you. they, yeah, yeah. Autobot Topper was a bottom for 66 months. Welcome back. Yeah. A formerly board gamer. Thank you for tuning in 59 months ago and now being entertained. Appreciate you. Middle slot. Because gnomes for six whole months. Thank you. <laughs> because gnomes. And Switch Slaughter, ducking mad for six months of support. Thank you. They call me Joke for 19 months. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. Transient Poe, 15 months. Thank you, friend. Coriolis Storm for 25 months. Thank you. A perfect square. Esplode for nine, ooh, five months of support. Thank you for making me flub. And Allison for nine, uh, 34 months. Welcome back. Hmm. Panda Lurker, 42, 22 months. Hi. Are you panda lurking me? Is that what that means? Yeah, I'm just excited by you reading a thing. Oh, the Dario. Being supportive. Oh, oh you. Yeah. Trying so hard to, to play with you. I saw your liar. Your, is that a liar? And I thought it said, give a coin to your months. witcher. No. Darium. It says, this loot slayeth tyrants. Ooh. Omdaras Strix for 29 months of support. Thank you for that support. Hmm, <laughs> can. Uh, <laughs> For 30 months. Yeah, I'm with you back. on that. I'm with you yeah. on that. That's yeah. good. Max Little Sliver. Silver. Sorry, that's the part I got wrong. Silver was the part I mispronounced. 19 months. My sliver. Ah, Max Little Sliver. God, you got me doing it. Max Little <laughs> Silver. Wow, goddamn. Uh, gave out some gifts to Kalku, Telnayor, some dude who plays games bad, and Darnick. Oh, that's mm. me. Mm. It's a little of all of us. And short for Phil, thank you for those 47 months of support. But tall for Larry. <laughs> Kaorty, gifted by Maxwell Silver. Thank you, friend. Guy, dude, man. Thank you for 18 months. I love him. Zuzi, uh, he's been here nine months. Welcome back. It's a great game. Mm -hmm. And gifted by formerly board gamer. Good to hear you. <laughs> They're good now. Yeah. Uh, Derdrongo. Tergonus, Soaring Dragon 42, Abyss Ending, K Bando 4, a random plaid, a random platypus, nice. Halin and Madman Oreo. Oh. And also <laughs> Monopole, Bleeding Toast, wow. Squalm, Garfman 314, Fracasio, Deadly Winchester, Whoa. Spice Melange. Zealous Crow, Met Ball, La Pontrick, La Point Nick, La Point Nick, Da Fury, and Varian Sunsum. Thank you for all of that support. My goodness. Thank you very much, friend. Uh, and Willius Draven for two months. Welcome back. Woo! Lady Dusko, 34 months. Electro! Irisu has been here for 50 months. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. And the Ox for 51 months of support. Thank you. Uh, Kim J. Burge for nine months. Happy sub, Babo. Trident 042, 18 months. I'm glad you're reading those. I read all those names differently. Mm -hmm. Like real differently. Oh, yeah? Sleeping Skeleton is a brand new subscriber. That Welcome, is, Sleeping Skeleton. That is a way you can pronounce it, yeah. <laughs> and thank you to Life Character for 39 months of support. Uh, my Ned Drift uh, for... <laughs> my Ned Drift. 88 for two <laughs> months. Is, Welcome back. Is it, is it Mine Drift or Mind Rift? Oh. And then we have Ear Then One, gifted by Dog of Myth. Yep. Uh, ear Then One. <laughs> and thanks for 301 bits from Ear Then One, Eat Block, and Kushindan. Kushindan. Good bits from all y'all. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning on in to AFK this week. Tune in next week where we play uh, probably a board game. 
Seems to be fine. Yeah, this will be the year where I remember to jot it down in my mind, brain, uh, next week when I uh, do it every, because we do this every week, and And it is Mansions of Madness! First try. Sorry, it wasn't my fault, it was the elder beings that we know we're going to encounter next week. So, it's the return to Mansions of Madness next week. Tune on in for that, it's going to be super duper great. Until next week, uh, thanks for tuning in. You're super duper. Take care of yourself. Bye. Roasted.